All right, gamers, we are back for another episode of Jinx the Diamond. This game, I'm going to be playing a Jinx Pike into Misfortune Karma. So, their ball is going to have a lot of poke. Not really expected to win trades here, but we do combo somewhat nicely with the Pike Hook with my traps, or even just if I can't trap or I don't have the confidence to lend them, I at the very least can lend an easy W, which is a lot of bursts. So, good synergy with Pike. Do have the tools to do something in this matchup. Already off to a good start there, as you can see. Like finding a good engage there. Hmm, I'm gonna actually look to crash this, because I think it's already pushing too fast. Okay, level W. Nice one. I leveled W there instead of traps. I was gonna say, I was, my immediate thought was to level traps. But then I realized, oh, I mean, she's gonna flash 100% no matter what. So I may as well level W so that after she flashes, I'm not gonna hit her with the W. Whereas hitting her with the traps after she flashes is not an option. There we get the bounce back. So back into a position where we can play aggressively. A little bit close to their turret, so not perfectly ideal. I should even let them push back, actually, if possible. Okay, I don't want to even bother hitting her back there while she's got that shield. Ow. Just wanted to get a lost hit there. Okay, I'm going to have to pop a ghost here. Just hitting the back because now that the Warwick has no E, he doesn't have a good engage. This could be a little bit bad, but... No, he's just dead. He overforced that. At that point, it was just far too low. So you see, on the previous engage, it was fine. Like, he didn't manage to pull it off. Didn't manage to engage onto me. But at the very least, like, he wasn't killable there because he entered full HP. But this time... Hang on. Just gonna flash the Karma W because I'll need to flash eventually anyway. Karma Q, rather. Oh. I'm not gonna use W here unless she flashes. Because I know I can kill her without using my W anyway, so what is the point? Then at least if she tries to flash out of my range, I'll have that W to slow her and get back into her range more easily. Uh, it's definitely risky for Pike to base here without helping me shove in this wave. Because if I get kinked by Warwick here, I could be in a lot of trouble. But it is what it is. I can't really help this. I need to shove this in. Ah, missed the cannon. Oh well. Could have done with a faster shove, but it's fine. It is mostly under turret. This is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the boots here. We're playing Jinx, who's so fairly immobile in lane. I'll wait for a dagger. <clears throat> yeah, since we don't have any mobility except through our passive after we get a kill, our only form of safety is our movement speed, so Berserkers are quite nice. Could have definitely also done an equivalent lane like this. I wouldn't say Berserkers are like 100% needed in this particular matchup. It's They're even more effective, especially when you're against like a melee support, because you can actually like focus on cutting them. But the thing about uh, Berserkers on Jinx is that, you know, you have such high range, you can kite pretty much anyone. We're going to place the traps here. She walks right into them. I think she still has flash, right? Yep. Just barely managed to get her. Do some damage to Misfortune since we have much more extended damage against her. I know I can't kill her, but I know I win the trade because she has no cooldown, she has no mana even. And I have a lot of DPS's Jinx with my passive up and my lethal tempo fully stacked. <clears throat> so after a tremendous start here. Ah, I was thinking that was a risky lost auto. Ooh. She's against the wall, so easy to land that. Oh, she has heal. Yeah, that was a risk to go for the dive. But at least we're forced to heal, and hopefully I'm just going to be fine anyway. Have enough for a Noon Quiver. Nice one. Just get one potion for the sake of having something. They do have a lot of pokes, so... 
In theory, if they manage to land a lot without pike landing and engage, I might want to sustain to keep myself healthy to prepare for the next pike engage. He's doing a really good job so far, though. They don't have, like, he keeps engaging so fast, they have no time at all to actually land any poke on me. Because the lower they can get me, the, like, worse I can actually capitalize off of pike engages. They don't have time to get me low at all. Did somebody flash that? I was all tapped. Let's try and not miss any more cannons now, anyway. So we can do really either... Kraken Slayer or Stormers are here. Looking at their comp, I don't think they are really that um, tanky. I don't think I need Kraken Slayer, so I think Stormers are would be quite decent here. Wait, why does Salas have Ignite? Or, sorry, Smite. Huh. I'm just trying to cheese Misfortune here because I didn't feel comfortable pressuring the turret without vision anyway. Uh, might not really be able to do much to Misfortune here anyway, so I'll just reveal myself. Yeah, I should be able to get a chance to place a ward here without missing much or any farm. Yeah, I didn't miss anything for that. Nice one. Still want to keep this uh, either slope pushing or realistically a freeze is ideal because it makes it possible for Misfortune to farm. Without being at risk of getting engaged on by Pike. I don't know where Karma is, but she's kind of griefing Misfortune right now. But it is a tough situation to be in. They're already so behind is the issue. Uh, even if, even with Karma here, they're just in so much danger. Gonna thin this out a bit because we don't need it to be this big. We don't want it to push too fast. And, yep, Misfortune just can't step up at all. Realistically, what they need here is for their jungler to come here and help them break the freeze. Just as Yone just said, Help, he's freezing! Help, come break! Help me break the freeze! Please, help! That's basically what they need. Oh, hello. There's Karma. Need to thin this out. The wave is too big that we can't even fight. Not who I meant to trap, but that works. They're grouped up right now. Oh, I've lost a lot of HP! Oh my lord. That, uh... Maybe I should have just flashed the Misfortune ult. I didn't expect to take so much damage there. I'm not sure what I didn't account for there. If it's just... Oh, my bad. I wasn't paying attention. Or if it was just, the um, Misfortune ult dealing damage. I can check it now. <clears throat> Oh, I was still standing inside of the ultimate when I stopped to use ult. Damn it, it looked visually like I was outside of it, but you can see I was still taking damage. When I think I stepped out of the Misfortune ult, I'd taken 432, and then I took 60 more damage than that. Hmm, unideal. Whoa, wait, what? Huh, okay, that's random. GG. Well, I don't know why the enemy team in that previous game would surrender when they had just made some form of comeback play with Silas getting my shot down, but... Oh well. I uh, don't seem to have a mid laner right now. It's gonna give us the chance to remake. She's back. That's weird. It usually would give us a chance to remake by now, but it might not be necessary anyway if she's back. And we're going to be running fleet in this particular matchup against Caitlyn Milio. We don't, especially because we have Senna instead of some kind of engaged support. We're probably not going to be all in too much on bot lane. So we might benefit more from having fleet for sustain to come, come up um, strong in those very short trades, which is what Caitlyn will be. Usually engaging in against us. 
It's going to synergize quite nicely as well with Stormizer, which I want to run this game. Given their comp is once again fairly squishy and also a little bit scary. Could do with some extra movement speed. <coughs> Okay, we're gonna level Q now, get some extra range. Hmm, that was terrible, my bad. Okay, so we got a fully stacked lethal tempo, we wanna disengage now. Let the stacks run out, I can trade with Melio. Even splashes it towards Kaelin. Oh, come on, this melee, man, she was completely unable to dodge there. Okay, we're getting ganked, I'm gonna pop my ghost. Still got ghosts, so... Okay, so I don't want the base. Ooh. Okay, I'm in the brush. I don't know if I really want the base here, though. Probably not. Definitely don't need to. Oh, really? That sucks. But you can see this wave is so big, even if they want to slow push, it's still going to inevitably push into me anyway, so... I've time to get this wave and a little bit of extra gold so I can get a better base before I finally choose the base. I just need to be preserving HP here. We still have a force yes lead over Caitlyn despite the gank. And Senna's actually back with plenty of HP and mana, so we actually don't even need to base at all, really. We vastly outranged Melio there, so he's not smart for taking that trade. He mainly just wants to focus on buffing up Caitlyn during trades and keep her protected. Their focus here really should probably be on scaling, whereas we've got the more aggressive lane and stronger early lane, so we are actually the ones that want to be forcing trades here. <coughs> Ooh, close one. She might have died if she got hit by that, although I nah, she's got heal, she would have been fine. Could have at least forced a heal though. If melee overextends too much here, I can just drop the traps behind him. Yeah, so he's uh, gonna get saved by Katarina. <laughs> hmm. Damn, that's like we just didn't have vision in the river. Where was Senna? Oh, she was helping with Kane, fair enough. Yeah, okay, I guess I was a bit tunneled there. A bit awkward that I'm getting gimp, but so first off, my bad for not noticing that um um there was even anything going on in the jungle, but even if I had, it's a bit awkward that Katarina chose to ignore it and just gank bot while there was literally a fight in our jungle. That's where, even if I was paying attention, I would have absolutely expected her to go. I need them to not run this wave, please. No, oh my god. Lissandra. <laughs> I don't think she realizes she's not facing. There we go. Yeah, she's doing decent at least. Yeah, Milo's been playing so aggressive in the entire lane phase, even to his own de detriment and forcing bad trades, that I just did not question it at all when he just overextended trying to force a trade on me. I could absolutely believe he was just... ...misplaying. Oh, 
If he just randomly did that after minutes of playing well, then I might have been more expecting a gank there. I actually, I don't really want to be trading into this, actually. Because she's constantly getting shields from Eri. Any damage that I do deal is going to be healed. She has stronger trading strength because of that. So anytime that pops up, I really just want to be disengaging, honestly. Oh, my bad. Hmm, not doing too hot here. I want to look the base and just get Kirchhoff Shard. That vision here, which is really annoying if they can see me basing. It's a can of wave though, so... They can't do too much to shove this in. Like, they can't really shove this in too fast, so... They can't really make me miss too much farm. In fact, if they want to make me miss farm, the best option here would just be to keep it frozen or slow pushing as much as possible. As you can see, by crashing this, I might miss one melee, but that's about it. Aside from that, I only missed two me two melees for the space. Nothing else. Well, I might miss this one because I really want to prioritize yep, W for getting that kind of lost set. But I still got the minion anyway. Ooh. Okay, I want to shove this in real quick before we go help with the Drake. Sandra, please. <clears throat> oh, hello. God damn it. Mmm, this sucks. Wait, really? Got her. Get to charge up my Q here. Nice one. Switch back to minigun. It's a shame that I don't have lethal tempo here, because I definitely am lacking a lot of damage. Nice. It's going to be less and less noticeable throughout the game, though, as our damage is fine with or without lethal tempo. That was like a clean juke from him. You don't have to stay here. There's no benefit to this. I don't need protection from Milio, man. Unless she actually wants to dive. Ah, fuck. I'll save my Kirche shard for Milio. Not wasted on the turret. There we go. Nice one. Okay, that was worth it. I thought she was sticking around only to attacks, which is something mid laners do commonly do, so... I have PTSD. Well, I would like to base now. I have a lot of gold to spend. Careful, Senna. Kaelin, Metavolt. Probably not yet, but it should be up fairly soon. And I think I will probably want to do Gil Force this game as well, on top of the Stormrazer. Might seem overkill, but... It's going to be especially good against the Camille, I think, and also into the Katarina. Even good for dodging Keen W, Ross W, if I think I'm going to get hit by it, if I'm going to fail to juke it. Okay, she's got headshot. I don't want to trade there, especially because I don't have fleet up. Fleet or Kerchase, you know. They're a package. Gonna shove in one wave. And we can cons well, I would say we can consider rotating, but as Jinx, it's almost always best to just keep on pushing because our turret killing power is so strong. Is there anything to do there? Probably not. Ooh. I gotta back off. I can't risk no, okay, I see can actually fuck. I was gonna say I can't risk um being collapsed on by more than just Melee, and with Melee moving into what looked like a flank position, it seemed like somebody might be with him. It was actually just clearing vision, though. Mm. 
Wow. Could do with basing as soon as I can. Maybe I should have based right there. I was a bit distracted by the cane. It's annoying as they have vision on me basing though. But I'm playing Jinx, so I got really good wave clear. Okay, they don't have vision on me basing here. They can probably guess it, but... They don't have the sure knowledge. See if... Killing you for a fact... <sighs> what? Oh, she just ran the wave. At this point, the best thing for her to do is to finish shoving it in. But if they for sure knew that I was basing, then Kaelin could just walk up and start, you know, trying to shove in the wave early, queuing the wave. Instead, she chose to base as well. I actually just got the Knight 6 CS with this, though, which is sad because I had a CS lead. Well, I would, I had a chance to get a CS lead there by crashing that. Especially if Kaelin, yeah, Kaelin gets 4 CS here while I got 0 because of Senna. Entirely because of Senna. So stupid. Using those traps mainly to get some vision there. Oh, come on. It almost killed. Graves? <laughs> nice one. Close, close. I almost had... Stormers are back up there. I need to back off yet. Katarina's there. Oh, guys. <laughs> no response at all to the Katarina showing up. I can't risk walking up, unfortunately. Blows. Can maybe stick around though. Love Senna healing. In theory. I don't want to reveal that I'm here though. I can try and cheese. Okay. I was hoping he'd just go into the traps. Oh god. I'm dead. Come on. Oh, dude. That blows. She was much lower when I... Yeah, so I decided to stay mainly because the Katarina was really low, so I didn't think she'd be able to make a play, but... Or at least what... If she tried to make a play, I thought I would be able to punish, but by the time we actually see her, she'd be healing from red buff and also from the Melio. Mainly from the red buff, I think, and that's just way too much HP for me to actually... Uh, punish, so it, me staying there was completely useless in hindsight. It seemed alright with the information I had at the time, though. I mean, I had the information that she had red buff, right? So I should have been able to guess she was going to be healing there. I just hadn't accounted for it. Oof, what is that Cho'Gath skin? That looks nice, that Q animation. Yeah, I can't really risk walking up there without information to try and get the turret, so I'll play slow, patient, go for the golems here. Oh, I've been forgetting, by the way, with fleet you can actually go, like, just hit the golems once for a pretty decent burst of healing. Where's Caitlyn? No way she wouldn't stick around to shove another wave, right? So she might be cheesing, but that doesn't feel like a play she would make. Players that the Asilo in general would make. I'm gonna risk going for the turret. A worst. Oh god, hello. Oh, she went to the top, okay. I need to leave. I can't really sideline against Camille. So we'll rotate mid, I guess. Shame we never were able to get that turret. If I just had the information that they had actually based, I would have been able to get that turret. Probably gonna want to do fire cut and third item as well, or at least my zeal item. Whenever I get around to building it, should be fire cut him because of how nice it will be with storm Razor and fleet.
Oh, that was insanely close. Wow, that was insanely close again. Damn it, that's unlucky. Enemies might be trying to flank now. I got ghost if I need to escape like a Katarina flank or something. So I just need to be positioned away from them. But I don't need to run away here. Okay, I think I'm just going to go bot and try and get this turret. This is a good time because we know everybody is topside. I'm not going to be able to win a fight here where, you know, our jungler is in base. Oop, I can take this. Our jungler is in base. Uh, our mid laner is dead. There's not much point in trying to fight, I think. Any fight that we win would be an absolute miracle that I can't really count on happening. I want to look for alternatives here, which is pushing this bot lane, getting some pre-farm, getting a turret. And it's completely safe because it's completely away from where everybody on the enemy team is. Skaterina is insanely fed, by the way. 22 Magi stacks. We need to get her killed at least once if we want to stand a chance of winning this game. <clears throat> yep, Baron not even up. They can't really, like, do anything to punish me here. Are they all still top? Potentially Camille might be coming for me. I'm going to risk going for another wave, though. That's all. I can't push the turret, though, without information. There we go. Those were terrible traps. What the hell? I'm just dead, probably. Unless she doesn't happen to have ult. Okay. I'll pop the ghost to make sure that she can't chase after me here. Looks like she didn't have ult then, so... Nice one. I get the wave. Cost me my ghost, but at least it was a cannon wave, so fairly valuable. Can solve my refillable here for my mythic. Okay, Katarina's dead. That is huge. I wasn't even part of that. I didn't get a shutdown. But, okay, goes to Senna, who's overall a decent scaling champion, even from support. So it's not too bad. Ooh, where are they recalling? Because I could try and kill someone with ult. Oh, hello. Wait, what the hell? Wow, he is really greeting for Senna. This shouldn't be a good play for him. Too greedy. Okay, I'm gonna go mid. <clears throat> okay, 14 Magi stacks on the Katarina. If we manage to kill her one more time without her getting anything back, then I'm not even that afraid of her. If she gets reverted back to, well, four stacks of her Magi's, then she's not really that threatening because of so much gold being put into her Magi's that isn't giving AP anymore. But at the moment, it's still fairly cost efficient for her, so she's still... If, like, practically fed. Hmm. Kind of a waste of mana, my bad. Nice. Got her. Nice one. Gotta be careful about that trap. Got her. Where's the Katarina? What is her HP? I didn't get to see. Kane is pretty low. Well, I, if I had that W, I might have flashed on him to hit him. Finish him off with Storm Wizard. At least my traps make it hard for her to actually team fight if she wants to go into the stagger later on. But it's a big waste of mana and cooldown every single time if she doesn't actually go on them. Especially if she has no intent. I have to like, try and decide whether she actually even wants to go on that trap. Oof, close. I need to flash the Camille ult. Ah, I'm dead. Shame. Almost had Camille, which would have saved me. Yep. Probably just a fire cannon angle still. And then I'll need Lord Dominic's. I think. Because they're looking like they're probably going to start building some armor. Well, at least the uh, keenest hobbies anyway. At some point I should expect like a Zonia's and Katarina. So they'll have that as a minimum. And at some point Kane should build Death Stance. Maybe even Camille too. Whatever, we'll evaluate it, you know, when the time comes. 
Could also end up just going for vamps up there into a bloodthirster just to have some sustain. It could be good. Okay. If there's nothing actually happening here, then I would have preferred to go mid. Okay, Trogath is probably going to farm that midwave, so I'm going to start farming golems instead. And I can also maybe, well, no, I'll take the red buff that uh, Craves leaves over, but I can't really farm the red if he's on the way. I can start it for him. And do some damage, get this dead sooner, so I can rotate the mid sooner. Nobody's low, so I can't ult. Wait, that's Karina, holy shit. I can't actually move here. You can tell she's just going to be standing there in melee range because she knows the only path for me to enter that fight is through here. So obviously she would want to try and either zone me or kill me if I actually take the risk of going through there. Well, that blows. They walked right into that. Thank you for shoving the wave, Sana. Now there's no farm for me to go to. Can take raptors, I guess. Hmm, I might be on Baron. No, okay, just a Camille. I will want the base because I don't want to risk engaging here. Trick is up in a minute. Ah, Karina's back to 25 stacks. Oof. Well, let's be glad I scapped that 25. She could be flanking. Yeah, exactly. Damn it. Oh my god. Jesus. How many dashes was that? That left that for like five. That plus. Oh, I had kill for something, didn't I? My bad, I forgot about that. She's so tank as well is a big issue for me here. 400 HP from her items. She's got like glass cannon damage, but not is not actually a glass cannon is what it feels like. Yeah, getting the Drake here. By getting the Baron feels like a good trade. Since Baron isn't an option for us. Making sure the enemies can't get that since they have control over our, our jungle now. Enemies are probably basing at least some of them. And ironically, I would be getting such insane cutdown value off of Katarina at the moment. She's probably the person on their team with the most HP, I want to say. Which is disgusting, man. Why is that the case? Please let me get this. I need it. Yes. I got Fire Cannon. 
And I can more safely poke Katarina, thank god. I want to see what her actual AP, or HP is when I see her. But I'll check her AP as well, sure, why not? The answer will probably depress me though. Oof. 2600, she has 700 more HP than me. Nice one. She could in the top side, I don't have to be worried about being flanked by her. Is he low? That didn't catch his AP, goddammit. It was barely off my screen. <clears throat> okay, I will want to do Lord Dominic's. Can't really risk going for the red buff. Got to get a lot of healing from Fleet this game. They're not doing too much with their Baron. Ah. Terrible traps I could have trapped there. Okay, she dies anyway though. Our cannon baby. That did no damage though. Yeah, unfortunately, if I knew it would come down to me having to 1v9 to fight this hard, I would definitely rather have lethal tempo. Lethal is like, done a lot to like try and get me to the stage, but it's going to be really hard to just completely win a fight by myself without lethal tempo. Especially like with how unexpectedly tanky they are turning out to be. Like, it, the most annoying thing is just how Katarina se feels like the most tanky champion in the game. She barely has less HP than Kane. But she's building full like AP, so it's just dumb. No idea where Katarina is. That is a concern. Do with getting wolves or something, so I have Lost Whisper. We absolutely do need to not fight for that Drake. At the moment, our only chance of winning fights is fighting near our turrets, so going for the Drake is just extreme bait. Good news is, though, as the game goes on, we're going to keep catching up further and further to Karina's items, because now that she's full build, she doesn't really get any stronger from here. Might go for the blue here. Team seems to be fighting. Could be good if it's just a clean pick and then they leave. Nice. Doesn't get dragged out into a full blown team fight. Now they have no jungler. It's still a huge risk to try and do Baron though. Because we could just lose a 5v4 is the issue here. We can also just push mid here while we're doing Baron, but let's try it. 
I think the smart choice for them would be to push mid, because that's guaranteed. They can guarantee they can inhib there, but looks like they're probably going to try and win a team fight here. Oh no, Katarina is actually pushing. Cool. This decision to push mid came way too late. They don't actually get the full inhib, they just get a turret. Oh my god, wait, she actually does get the inhib. It might cost her her life though, whereas it should have been free. Oh my god, I should have just killed Forest just to kill Steel. I shouldn't have expected Karina to even kill anyone there. That was just pure greed on whoever died there. Or maybe not greed, I don't know. Apparently she got one shot. Who knows, but I should have just killed Forest C the way regardless. Just to get that 1000 gold shot down on myself. It's absolutely the best on myself at the moment. And then it also would have indirectly prevented Lissandra getting... Ah, oh, just trying to poke him there. Damn it, he didn't juke at all. This could be quite good. Karina will be reviving soon. Oh my god, that healing. Okay, we need to run. <laughs> Off our team already based, which is the wrong call if we're trying to end, guys. Okay, we got Baron buffs to recall. <clears throat> we are fine. I'm gonna sell my Doran's Blade and make sure I get this. No, well, do I need to? Maybe not. I can just get this wave real quick. Surely there's no way I get into a fight without Lord Dominic's. Time to farm this wave real fast. There we go. <clears throat> Cost me a lot of tempo to do this though, compared to just selling the Durance Blade and getting to stay in lane to keep farming or doing camps or whatever. Probably should have just sold the Durance Blade, honestly. Look how delayed I am to farm. And now imagine because I'm late to farming this lane, I'm late to the next fight. Sandra probably dead here, I imagine. I just need the base again, I'll... Should be able to finish this, really. And get the red buff. Maybe the red buff is greedy, but... No, it looks like it went fine for my team, they got two kills, not bad. I don't need to recall anymore. Go on Kane here. Nice one. Shogath just ignoring that for some reason, but this could be really good. We might be able to end off of this. Katarina is still dead for 24 seconds. She's not really as scary now, I would say, especially with those Magi stacks gone, but especially with how closer in items now some of us are. Since she stopped getting stronger in items a few minutes ago. Oh, this Caitlyn just made a game losing mistake in positioning. Maybe we were going to win anyway, but that definitely cemented it. GG. Was a tough one. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. This game playing Jinx Seraphine and two Kaisa Senna. I'd rather just start getting the push, honestly. There should be a decent matchup. We vastly outrange Kaisa, so what Kaisa wants from her support here is engage to close the gap. Instead, she has Senna, who is going to do nothing of the sort. Well, we have Seraphine to also match the Senna range. Overall, we should have a lot higher range pressure than they do. So Kaisa shouldn't get to do much in this lane. Only Senna should be annoying for me here. Oof, can't not out of there, which could have been good. Almost dead. Oh, Yeah, tremendous. Now, how much has Kaisa done in this lane? Versus how much have I done? And how much has Seraphine done? She's done absolutely nothing. She's out of her element here. Again, running out of mana, though. Need to chill a bit. 
I was trying to... Like it's so we both... Oh, god damn it. So we both weren't completely lined up for the Senna queue there, but she was walking at exactly the same angle I was. Which is ideal. But yeah, uh, pretty much taking so much damage from Senna herself that I'm actually in a pretty bad spot now as well. On the bright side, I mean, sir, whoop, I'm gonna have to flash here on Ghost. Oh my god, that slow is so strong. Oh, that blows. If I had my W, she was dead. Alright, that's an ideal. <coughs> Comfort. I uh, can't remember what I was saying now. Let's go for Cole. I would stick around there. I would like to farm. To be honest, maybe I should have done it. I could have at least waited to see whether they would stay or not. But the thing is, if I stayed here, then I wouldn't be able to get any farm anyway. I don't know if I knew at the time the hack room wanted to gank or if we had that information available at least. Oh, careful. Nice one. Yeah, pretty much Senna just set that up in the early for Kai'Sa. Senna was the only one actually dealing damage there. Which is not ideal, but clearly she played it well enough to actually create an opportunity an opportunity in the end. I was having a wave here, which is unideal, but at really least I'll get to push this turret. So long as Kaisa doesn't get any farm either, then it's not that bad. I will be behind, but only because, you know, I just had the base there and miss having that wave on, uh, well, two waves under turret, which was completely unrelated to Hecarim. Careful, we don't want to fight them in their wave. Not that it's a big wave, but still wanna still don't want to do it. Could have a clone Senna here. I do. Holy crap, that was close. Okay, not bad. If I can walk up to this wave and start hitting it, then I get healing from Cole. Kaisa should be trying to force me off the wave, but I don't think she realizes just how much I heal from hitting the wave. And Darn's Blade, of course, not just Cole. But it's both of them added together that's giving me a lot, though. Nice one. Getting ganked, though. We need to back off. Careful, Seraphine. She might be dead. I need to start hitting Udyr. He's gonna go on Seraphine. I know I'm pretty much safe while Seraphine is such a free kill for him. Taking so much damage even while he's not going on me, though. That's super lame. And now I'm just alone. Plus. Ah, if she did ignite it as well, I might have actually had a kill on Udyr. My bad. They didn't get any loss hits, man. There we go. Kaisa flash isn't really up until my flash is up as well, by the way. Just need to be careful I'm not getting sniped by the Senna. Fuck it. We got Seraphine heals. Oh, she just wasted it. So annoying. Alright, this is a cannon wave. They shouldn't be able to crash that too fast. If they're even going to try and shove it in, which they might not. So, Kais is going to try and shove it in at least. Now, hopefully they can't crash that in time to make me miss the whole wave at the very least. So that wasn't too bad though, considering Kaisa had a huge item lead there. They were not actually doing that well. They actually lost the fight before the Udyr came and saved the day. Which again is just down to the fact that Kaisa doesn't do too much in this matchup, which is not, not entirely her fault unless she actually picked Kaisa into this matchup. I can't remember how Champ Select went. But at the very least, you would never voluntarily pick Kaisa with Senna. Especially into a long range bot lane like this. You could get away with it into another short range bot lane, like if I was playing Zaya. And my support was something like Rakan or Braum or anything like that. 
In this matchup, you just suffer, though. I just hope the Senna carries the lane. Alright, so I'm going to be 1v2 very shortly, as I'm sure Sun is about to enter the lane. So if I can, I'd like to just base here. I can just pick up another longsword or something. I'll do a dagger, actually. Feels better for some reason. Just so I, can, I guess just so I can space better. The faster I get Mauro out, the sooner Mauro is done, and the sooner I can start walking away from Kai'Sa and fully abuse Mauro attack range. It just cost me way more CS than I should have lost there. Yeah, I lost like three to four more CS than I should have lost there. Oh well. At least we're on zero deaths. Could be worse, but I should have way better farm. Partially down to, well, mostly just down to the fact that we are not winning the lane like we should. But thanks to that early misplay and then also the Udyr gank. Oh, I lose all my farm here, bro. <laughs> to the Seraphine's AoE. Oh. Well, that blows. Okay, I hit the Kaisa with the traps. Good shit. Once she got slowed by, I can't remember if it was my W or if it was Seraphine. I had a feeling she would probably be too slow to walk past those traps. It's very good to combo Jinx traps with slows because of that precise effect where the enemies can't, like, can't pass through them anymore, so they have to step around them. But because they're slow, they also have to, like, it takes them a while to step around them. And most of the time, they just try and step through them anyway, so they just get hit by the traps. And that can also lead to a free W if you didn't have to use W for that, or a free ultimate. <coughs> I'm gonna see if I can crush this. I think Sun is distracted trying to help her team there. Okay, nice. No freeze for Kaisa. Alright, what do we want to do this game? I think we can do Stormers are yet again. No running fleet this game, by the way, since because Kaisa is so, so short range. You saw in the early levels how much damage we were able to put out on Kaisa. Stack up the lethal tempo, use the lethal tempo to pressure both her and Senna. Granted, in hindsight, the, with I lost so much HP in the early levels. I think Fleet would have performed better, but that's just a misplay. Oh, fucking exhaust, man. That's all I can do. Damn, if only we had Seraphine ult there as well. Let's play some vision. So I could try and like flash auto me or flash Q me or something. They should be dead here, I hope. Ooh. Well, that side is not going for Senna, because Senna's the one that I get the assist from. <laughs> oh well. Wow. Big misplay. Gonna keep potting these minions individually instead of AOEing them with rockets. So that I get more healing that way. Okay, nice on Seraphine. Don't think the healing mattered in hindsight, but... The logic is sound. Whenever you want to lifesteal, make sure you're not using AOE to kill the minions. Because, you know, AOE that you're not gonna lifesteal from, at least. Which is like 99% of AOE. Nice one. Ooh, this turn is struggling. Oh, and that's a uh, stride break root here. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that before, but it feels like it should make sense on him. Probably a bunch of mythics working out here. My bad. 
So it was against the wall, that should have been an easy hit. I just miss aimed. Traps behind Sana. I'll ult Kaiser. But it's gonna hit uh, both of them either way. Wait, my W wouldn't cast. Fuck. Maven, nice. Got her. There's a Blast Cone. Uri doesn't have Flash, so it should be fine. Kaiser, or, uh, Kali is also dead, so. Looks like nobody can actually get to me here. I could risk going for the wave, but if Uri sees me and decides to. Go for me, I'll have to leave the wave, and then it's going to be in a terrible wave state, so we're just going to leave it as it is. Alright, I guess we'll do Gale Force. It should work uh, very effectively against the Rumble Ult. It's best to be able to just dash out of Rumble Ult. So. It's sort of a soft counter to mobile carries, sort of like the... Sort of like Misfortune Ult, except obviously it applies more in team fights than it does to lane phase. Since you don't lane against Rumble, but... Yeah, same concept. If you can't dash out of it, then it sort of soft counters your champion. But Girl Frost takes care of that. Could have been worse. So I've been massively overextended there. Bro, this minion block. Probably could have done more damage there. I don't know if I should have ulted so far away at least without a slow active. But I've got Ghost, so I space Kaisa super hard, but you're kidding me. <sighs> I'm just dead though. That's so lame, man. Oh, I just got the reset from Kaisical sooner. Could have done so much more there. Either killed more, either killed Sen as well, or I just straight up escaped. Oh well. Yeah, my ult was a waste. I shouldn't have expected that to land. I should have just been relying on my lethal temple to continue dealing damage. Oh, she has Storm Razor. I shouldn't try and use W on her exactly during the Storm Razor window, because it makes it a lot easier for her to dodge. Oh. Can't tell if that hit Kaiser or not. I was hoping that I had and I could hit her with W, but... Where is Kaisa basing, do you think? Or is she even basing? Ah, damn it. Yeah, I don't think it would have killed her anyway. I think Senna just hit her with a Q. Oh. Wait, I'm blind. Wait, I might actually be okay here, maybe? Damn it. I messed up by not realizing Udyr was about to get CC'd by Seraphine, which, to be fair, shouldn't really happen so long as Seraph... So long as Udyr has, um... His empowered thing. Oh, he wasted it. Yeah. 
Oh, no, no, no. He didn't... No, it's not that he wasted it. He could have actually activated it there. That's how Odir works. He just chose not to. So, yeah, I mean... It's pure hindsight to say that, yeah, if I just sprinted away, I would have been fine. But I shouldn't have expected that to be the case. Still, took a whole lot of Udyr ganks just for their bot lane to still actually lose lane. Our turret may have gone down, but I'm way ahead of the Kai'Sa. Well, not way ahead, she does have a lot of assists, but still definitely in the lead, even if not a significant one. And now we outskill them, which is why their bot lane was a terrible duo to pick. Because I both expect our lane to win, and then I also expect our lane to outscale. If you run into a scenario where you're not expected to win lane, but then you also get outscaled, then you just you just dropped it terribly, or you get outplayed in the draft. Well, that's not good. I just end up going back bot. But I'm around here in case I'm needed for a fight. Oh god, I keep feel I keep thinking they've uh, disengaged. Oh, god damn it. Uh oh. I'm so dead here, aren't I? She's so fast, man. <laughs> I'm literally ghosting. How am I not escaping here? Or am I? Nice. Okay, I barely escape. Thank god. Sheesh, okay, I lost a lot on bot lane for trying to join a fight. Unfortunately, I couldn't predict that if I would be so terribly played by my team. And it was in such a terrible location as well, like, we get so easily blocked off there, I couldn't realistically join that even. Even if I were there sooner, I still would get flanked by Akali and die, you know? There was no way to pl actually play out a fight there. It was a terrible location, and they lost even without that happening. I'd stand near the turret as long as Kaisa has a chance to ult me. Oh, hello. I'm probably dead. Sadly, cutting him isn't that effective since, you know, even if he's getting blocked off by the traps, he's still flamethrowing me there and had nowhere to run, it, unfortunately. Yeah, let's the call. Can you get the upsword? And that is why we need... Kill force against the rumble. So we have an answer to those situations. Oof, nice one. I'm getting no farm though, this is a bit sad. From the decision to go mid to join a fight that turned into a disaster and resulted in me getting no kills and no farm. To then just getting dived before I could farm on bot lane either. I basically got like, I want to say like 2 CS per minute for like the past 2 minutes. Or actually, in total, it would in average it would have been like 1 CS a minute, I feel like. So bad. Oh, fuck's sake. Actually, I suppose I didn't need to flash there. I thought they were going to be capitalizing on that. Following up. Got the roll there, but nobody's low enough to die. All I can do is get us some HP back. There's nowhere to farm at the moment. I don't know, so my support should not be farming bot, by the way. That removes bot lane as a farming option for both me and Azir. I might have seen bot lane and been like, ooh, I can farm there if Seraphine wasn't pushing that. Both supports have illegal amounts of farm for her playing supports that don't run Relic Shield or anything like that. Okay, trying to roll go top, that's fine. Because he's not a support. My support is also going top, though. Uh, 
I wouldn't engage there. I want to base and get my guild force. We can't risk it, I don't think. Well, with four of us, we could. It's still a risk, though. Like, definitely right now is not the time, because I chose not to go for the play, so the play cannot really happen. Because we don't know where the rest of their team is, which means they could be in their base, or they could be right behind them, ready to follow up. If we're grouped as four, then at least we know we're massively grouped, so... Decent chance we would have a numbers advantage, but if we're not, then can't go for the play. Because there's two... it's just too likely that they would outnumber us, possibly. Which would be a disaster. <clears throat> I have to go for golems here. It's either that or what the top, but I don't think the wave is quite ready for that. <laughs> nope, Backroom doesn't think I'm trolling him. I just don't really have anything to farm. Might as well get that because Trinomir also was going to miss a lot of that. So I might as well just get it since I can get all of it. Yeah, Hecarim going for the topside farm is probably the smartest choice while I'm taking his botside jungle. Would have been better if he did it sooner because now he's lost a lot of tempo. But it's the right call overall. Oh nice, Trinomir called Kai'Sa. Okay, we can keep pushing here. This turret is actually quite low in mid lane. Not going to be able to push it though. Alright, what do I need for third item? I think probably Lord Dominic. So dear does have Thorn Mail. Oh, and Senna also has quite a tanky build. Did somebody push stop? I think they did. Sadly I'm not here sooner. It means I can't get these melees. I could have got the costures though. Uh they're getting flanked. This sucks. Surfing, you've got ult. There's nothing to do there. I'm, ah, can't use this portal. It's only one way. Hopefully this ultimate does a lot of AoE. I'm not, not expecting kills. Yeah, could have done more damage, but it will. Locked off. Ow. Let's stay near Azir so he can peel me from Kaisa. This is super good. Oh, huge, huge. I hope that was a big shutdown. I didn't have time to check. Yes, that was a huge shutdown. Awesome. So, only problem here is because I got that... Ooh, nice! I was gonna say, I'm not the run to defend anymore, but... 1v1 is fine. It was the 1v2 that I was worried about. Seraphine should have this by herself. But yeah, the big risk about going for the kill there is that, obviously, if I die, I'm not a run to defend, so... She's trolling. <laughs> there was no reason to fight Senna there whatsoever, and you can clearly see you're losing and just disengage. Oh well, Senna by herself isn't gonna push much anyway. Yeah, whenever you're considering trading one for one there, you're gonna consider, you know, if you die, you're not gonna be around to defend. So potentially your death is a lot more devastating to your team than the one death that you trade your life for is for the enemy team. But because I got a big shutdown there, I would say it's not necessarily always worth the risk, but it can be. Like, it's a lot more likely to be because you're at least you're getting a huge payoff for that one for one. But if that had just been a regular kill, that would have been a stupid trade. So I was really... I knew that Rumble was really fed, so I was hoping he still had a shutdown. Gambling on it. Fuck me, that damage. Nice one, Hecram. Um, just leave. This is good enough. Good enough. Need to disengage now, though. Ooh. Cool. 
block her off with these traps. I don't think she's even coming anyway. I could do a red buff. Fuck. Oh god. I can't do a red buff. She better not have ult, I swear to god. Sheesh, dude. <laughs> There's lanes to push, there's a top laner to defend against. Didn't expect any anybody to be rushing red buff. Oh, hello Akali, what the hell? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is completely trolly. Could have had like a inhibitor turret. Maybe they still can, maybe, but they're risking the life for it at this point. Got the center of this damage. Fuck me. Yeah, I need this wave. Please don't fucking take it, Seraphine, because then I'm going to be very, very sad. Oh, thank God. Mr. Cannon, though, sad. Okay, I think I'm going to want lifestyle next. I don't need to shove golems yet, I can go for the wave. And hopefully their team can't do Baron, because I am on the opposite side of the map. Okay, I basically have enough for vamps up there now. The enemies could absolutely Baron those the thing here. Yeah, they're already on it. That sucks. Um, it wasn't related to me being bot though, they were doing it regardless. Okay, nice, they got a Kali at least. Yeah, even if I guild force the rumble ult, I'm still guaranteed to take damage from it. Uh, I can't really hit Sana without her hitting me back. So it's pretty much guaranteed I'm going to be taking at least some damage, but damage that is easy to recover from if I just lifesteal. That's why I want lifesteal here. Like, no amount of good positioning is going to take, uh, cause me to take zero damage, basically. Those are exactly the best situations to be building lifesteal in, so I can recover whenever this happens. <laughs> the less my team lets me auto minions, the more important lifesteal is. Which is ironic, considering that makes it less efficient. They're a bit slow, but ah, I'm missing that, though. Okay, I hit rumble at least. Fuck me. You see, I'm not out of position at all, but I'm taking so much damage anyway. Okay, I got one kill. Or one assist anyway. Seraphine just didn't notice, I guess. Akali's dead though. Nice. That's most of their team dead, actually. How the fuck did that happen? I might be able to outplay her. Fuck me. I can't. Soning that came back up. Okay, I've got him, I think. It's one kill, where is Rumble? Got him. Ah, I guess the surfing though, sad. Okay, huge, huge. I still burn buff down now as well. Literally, by the way, notice that the only reason why I was even healthy enough to win that was because I had the foresight to realize I'm going to take so much unavoidable damage, I need sustain to deal with it. If I did not have that sustain, I would not have been healthy enough to make that play. Even though in combat, the lifesteal did very little, I needed that to even have that much HP to begin with. So yeah, we'll go for the Bloodthruster as well, I think. I want to maximize life to like, ideally I should have been full HP at the start of the fight, not like 70% HP. Sad that I missed out on this wave as well. I wanted one of the small ones, I'm not enough of an asshole to steal the big one, even though like, obviously if he's stealing my entire cannon waves, like he can't complain if I do the same, but... It's not that I think me taking the Raptor wave is bad. Uh, Raptor is bad. There, it's that Hecarim Ridge quitting if I was to do so would be bad. I need to avoid a Ridge quit while also tryharding as much as I can. 
And in my eyes, straw herding is getting as much CS as I can. Which means getting raptors if my jungler takes the wave. But in that sense, I have to hold back to prevent the raid quit. Super close. I'm gonna not show myself here. I maybe have a chance of killing Kaisa with Gale Force. Or Hecarim does. Well, not with Gale Force in his case, obviously. Jesus, it's like she outranges me. I need to disengage here. Nice one. You see what I mean by unavoidable damage? Like, I'm auto-attacking her at my full... Auto attack range there, I believe, and she was still able to hit me back. So I can't avoid that damage, so I need to like have enough sustain that I can still auto attack her there and not be completely fucked afterwards. Because now suddenly I'm like 50% HP and now Akali can kill me, or Rumble Ult can kill me, or Udyr can kill me. Mm, probably want to do Phantom Dancer, I think, next, or maybe even Rune Ants. They have been grouped up quite a few times already, I've noticed. Especially after like a zero ults. He's found some pretty good ults. If I combo rune ends with a good at Z ult, then he's well, their team is screwed. Should be dead there. Nice one. I don't know what the fuck she was thinking there. I was wondering if maybe we were getting blanked, but no. Nice, that one's just straight up missed. Which is good, because I didn't have guild force, did I? <laughs> Fuck me, that's slow. Parkinon would also be really good for... Oh, oh, dude. What the fuck? I didn't expect that. Thank god it worked out. Oh god, there's a guy here. I'm dead. I ah, should have tried to hide behind a minion so I wouldn't get hit by a W. Unless she dies. That was unexpected. <laughs> what an unlucky route. Let me see if I can get that replay up. There we go. Like, bro. <laughs> he just drive by. He rooted me. Didn't even notice how guys ended up there. I'm guessing she just ulted. Yeah, ulted Seraphine. Well, ulted Azir. Actually, Seraphine might have also been rooted. He could have ulted anybody there. Either way, he focused Seraphine. Oof, okay. Nice. Also, when did this happen? Hmm, nice one. Game is suddenly looking very promising. Crap, I think every single wave on enemy side is now being delayed because of this. There might not actually be much for me to farm here. Definitely not in a safe location. I'll go for Grump instead. I can do the entire top side, actually. Seraphim is farming mid, so there's no farm for me to go for there. She didn't even take the cannon. Ugh. It's like she wants to sacrifice as much farm from her teammates as possible without actually caring about getting farm herself. It's always such a load off my mind and low elo when my support doesn't actually have wave clear so that I know they're not going to be tempted to farm entire waves by themselves. Oh, what's going on there? They're clumped up. Not that Renan's would have done much there, but 
Traps on top of Kaisa. She is screwed. Missed time at W, whatever. We can probably end now. I wouldn't even bother with the Drake. Nice one. Alright, we end. Rough mid game, but we got there in the end. GG. <laughs> Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. This game, gonna be playing Jinx Renata into Vein Salas. Don't think Vein Salas have particularly much synergy together, but. Probably works okay in this matchup since Silas basically will provide some engage, I guess. Oh, hello. We're gonna go on Vayne here. We can get Vayne down, then it's GG. That's 30 DPS out of the way. Nice one. Probably won't be able to kill Silas, but we certainly do a lot of damage. Nice one. Yeah, not necessarily a great idea to engage level 1 in our mini wave, though. That only would have worked if I didn't have a brain and I just started hitting Silas. I can base already. Alright, we'll do Longsword and Dagger, I guess. Would have liked to get Cold, but if I could do Cold Dagger, that would have been nice, but if I can... Only pick up one component at a time there, then I would just rather do the longsword and dagger so I can get two components. But yeah, anyway, so long as they don't manage to snowball in this lane, then we should be fine. And obviously we're off to a great start in that regard. Oh, come on. How am I meant to predict these minions hitting? Exact minions I'm trying to set up. Oh, well. Uh, I think I'll level traps here instead of E. I've got a lot of mana, so I've got plenty of mana to be using three different abilities. Well, two abilities on my rockets. Uh, this is also going to be nice in case Alice engages again. Just gonna be building up a slow push here. There's no point trying to crash this. We just want to keep slow pushing here to keep denying as much CS from Vayne as possible. <clears throat> Can't really do much about that Salus from. Never ended up doing any abilities. <laughs> just killing E. Alright, this is the point where we need to crash, because we're already really overextended. We don't want to preserve this wave state indefinitely, or, you know, for any extended period, we already just want to be getting the wave under turret. Okay. Nice, my traps killed him. That is illegal that I'm not getting turret aggro here, by the way. Crazy. We're not a hitter? I wasn't uh, pinging because I had my finger ready on target champions only. Okay, I need to get out of here. Fizz is on the way. He's not level 6, but he still has a lot of mobility. Enough mobility to get on top of us. We need to leave. Okay. Minions are under turret. We might miss out on the plating, but we shouldn't miss out on too much farm. Hopefully. Uh, well, the entire wave isn't under turret, so it could have been better, but... Yeah, they still miss more CS from that than we do. I'm gonna buy Berserkers, actually. What do we want here? Um, I think once again, Stormers will be fine, so... Let's do that.
Or, although Stormers would be really nice against Garen, I could actually just get around to finally testing Static Shivan Jinx. Which I think is fine on her, but I've never actually gotten around to testing it properly. The nice thing about that is, regardless of whether the <coughs> passive is better than Stormers' passive or not, either way, it just gives 15% more attack speed than Stormers' are. Just gives straight up better stats, so it's just better. Like, the passive is better in the early game, and then it also gives better stats for later on. Oh, I've been completely blind, by the way. I wasn't paying attention. I need to chill. He should be dead. Ooh, could have gone to me. Oh, well. And so i from that CS. Yeah, the main downside is that, um, so the, like the passive of Static Shiv is better than the passive of Stormers are in the early game. And then also the stats are the stats that it gives, which are overall just more stats than Stormers are. Once again, dive. Nice one. Thank you, Renata. And then um, the stats are also better in the early game. Uh, obviously, the stats are just better at all stages of the game. But that's more important in the early game because in the early game, you have less stats overall. So it's like every little helps. Whereas late game, you know, you get a full build, you got six items. And maybe if you don't care so much about the tiny little 15% attack speed anymore. And it becomes more all about the safety that Stormwizard gives you. So that would be the point of doing Static Shift here. It's not about, oh, but Jinx doesn't need Wave Clear. No, she doesn't, obviously. But it is a stronger prospect early on. It might help a snowball. And there is always an advantage to clearing faster. Especially in the early game when we don't have, you know, six item jinx wave clear. The main downside, of course, is that I won't have Stormers to help me kite Garen, but we will see how we get on. <clears throat> Got him. Yeah, I can already base for static shiv. Should I do that? I think so. Uh, no, I need to rotate for this fight, actually. It could be really bad. I might just choose not to. think. Uh, yeah, because if I join here, the very awkward thing is that I know I'm going to get collapsed on by Silas. And as hard as I am, I know I lose that because of my HP. So, yeah, I just kind of had to hope that my team would just win that. Not much else to do there. Could have been bad. Okay, at least in this bot side, indeed. Let's chill for a little bit. Desperately are gonna want my shutdown. 
Uh, the reason I don't have a thousand gold shutdown, by the way, is that my team seems to be fairly behind overall, so I need to play extra well here. <laughs> the fact that he can still run out ult is very awkward. That could absolutely ruin us in a fight. Oh, he's gonna be rotating for this. Nice one. Just need to keep running. Let's potentially dive in here again, maybe. Okay, he's rotating back. Oof. We really want to wait for that Renato to time out. Or, yeah, for him to waste it, that works fine too. Ew, my own minions are attacking me. So it cost me less mana to wave clear as well when I got Static Shove. Another bonus there. Oh. <laughs> also hit no one. Well, actually, he just walked into it, apparently. Got him. Can also get the turret kill vein. Oh, my bad. I should have been more patient there. Oh no. No kill for us. Damn. Damn, that was really low HP though. Okay, if this is topside, we can keep on pushing maybe? I mean, Salus is already back is the thing. I said we just leave it. This wave has gone under turret, which is perfect. Do not start touching that wave, please. Thank you. Cool. Ugh. Damn. That's rough. If only I had saved my ultimate, I might have been able to clean up one of those kills. With a little bit of luck. Surely Fizz doesn't have ult, right? Hmm. Not a smart ult, to be fair. My W slow isn't that strong yet. Dead. Way too greedy of him. Lightning's just fell, so we get that super easily as well. They need to engage on me instantly if they want to have any sort of chance of killing me at all there. Got him. Oop. Awkward. Can try and bait. I've got Flash to outplay the Insect. Okay. Yeah, in this early game, I'm honestly just really feeling that 15% attack speed. It is actually super impactful. Straight up a much better early game power spike than Stormers are is. While well, having a stronger early game effect as well than Kraken Slayer, which gives similar stats, but still worse stats because I think he, I think uh, Static Shift gives 10, 10 more AD than Kraken Slayer if I remember correctly. Let me check that in a sec. We've got enough for Guild Force, by the way. Yeah, 40 AD on this, 10, uh, 50 AD on that, so 10 AD difference. Well, I think having the same attack speed. Thirty percent. Yep. Both give thirty percent, but more stats on static shiv, so better early game, Adam.
I am playing with fire here. Trying to move unpredictably, so it's harder for Fizz to hit me with a random assault. But if I do get hit by a random assault, it could easily be a death. Got him. Nice one. Oh, I've got Gilfrost, by the way, actually, I just remembered. So, um... It would actually be really easy to dodge Fizzle so long as I'm paying attention. Yeah, and that's not even gonna hit, so all good. As soon as I place those traps, he can't dash through me without even... Without just instantly dying, so... Oh, damn, I was meant to hit the turret before it went down so I could get my passive. Oh, well. Actually, I don't know why I went dagger here. I can just go lifesteal. I'll probably just sell it. Or I'm gonna cut... Ah. If I could do zeal, I was just gonna do zeal. If I could do zeal and bounce up there. I feel like that's not too bad because both as individual components are really, really strong. Would have greatly delayed one of my power spikes, my full item power spikes, but it would have been a really good transition into one of my power spikes at least. But well, since we couldn't afford to do that, we'll just go for the crit cloak. Plus, I may want to do Lord Dominic soon, actually. Probably after Bloodthirster. Because Garen does have a lot of armor. And may build even more. Hurled is up in 20 seconds. We can easily get this. I hope Yorick is winning that. The Auric was not winning that. Team should be playing around Herald. Can't really uh, kill Vayne here, probably. We'll see. Oh, oh I accidentally swapped away from Rockets, my bad. Holy shit, wait. Got him. We'll pop ghost. Don't think I even really need a ghost to be fair. Nice one. Yeah, nice. Hmm, that Leeson got here a lot faster than I expected. Okay, let's try and get this herald before it despawns. Thank god I'm so fat because I don't have a team at the moment. It's just me and Renata. Has been for ages. That's not over chase. Put the hit least in there. Oh fuck wait, I thought I'd go for us. I'm so dead here. Yeah man, my bad. I meant to f or I should have flashed rather. I meant to kill force, but I didn't have a kill force, so I should have flashed. Oh, but okay, could be worse. Could be worse. Could certainly be worse. At the least, it took until twenty minutes for them to finally get my shot down.
please do not tell me that I still have a thousand gold shut down. Oh no, I better not die again. A second death will be equally as much a disaster as the first one. Shut down. I can help Kha'Zix with this Raptor camp by just throwing one rocket in. He cleared that so much faster thanks to me. If I'd stolen the small ones, it's like, oh well. I don't care. I'm happy to take them. Kha'Zix shouldn't be too happy, too sad to lose them. Talus is dead. Fuck me. Wait, holy shit. Ah, oh, it's fucking phase for Skarin, man. Jesus Christ. That is unreal. Now, this is the part where I definitely would be doing better with Somers there. Probably. Probably. I mean, I might still have died in the same exact same way anyway. Who knows? To be fair, I think he had a lot of overkill moments speed there. Stormers are my still would not have saved me. But in general. We're definitely getting to the part of the game where I care more and more about the movement speed the Stormers would have given me. Even if that particular instance wasn't actually uh, going to make a difference there. Um, it's pretty unideal, by the way, that both of my shotguns have gone to the most fed person on their team. You know, the guy who is most likely to carry. And I just gave him 2,000 gold. I'm gonna use ult soon, but I don't know if now is the moment. Maybe now? Ah, I probably missed. No, I got him. Nice. Can I try and get him? Ah, oh, but he's so fast. Oh, that sucks. Oh, where's the Renata thing? She probably already wasted it, I guess. Oh, god, that sucks. That blows. I didn't have a massive shot then again, did I? Wow, I did. At least this one goes to Lee and it was slightly smaller. Fuck me, I didn't think about Fizz being there. Was he even in the fight? No, Fizz... Uh, wasn't part of the fight, he was just completely out of sight, out of mind, pretty much. That sucks. When did the Renata revive get used? Oh, just randomly to give me attack speed. Oh, and also movement speed, to be fair. So I can see why she used it, but... Obviously, in hindsight, it feels like bad timing, but maybe it made sense in the moment. Um, I need, oh, I wasted my herald, by the way. I just realized, fuck. Oh, well, I need to get Lost Whisper here, so I, it will massively ramp up my damage against Garen. Are they on this Baron? No. This is a little unfortunate that the one game I decided to try out not doing Storm Reserve against Garen, it is the exact one game where the Garen, the enemy Garen gets legendary and is an insane threat. But such is life. Well, I don't think we want to start Baron. That would be leashing it for the enemy team. Since they have a jungler and we don't. <laughs> if anything, we should camp. Bait them into thinking we might be doing Baron. But that is hard. When they have so many words. And anyway, if we get a proper team fight, we're actually getting peeled. We should stand a chance of winning fights overall. Jinx has a much easier time carrying games than Garen does. But in an uncoordinated game where it's never 5v5, that's where Garen would shine and have the advantage. Have an easier time 1v9ing than me. Uh, Renata's just dead there. Nothing I can do to save her. I'm gonna start pushing this. If they're just gonna get the Drake no matter what, then I might just, I don't know, get a turret, maybe. Drake is enough for another five seconds. They're not gonna expect me to be pushing here. If we're lucky, I get an inhib, not just the turret. Remember, got ten more AD with this static shift than I do with Kraken Slayer, so I'm actually gaining a lot of DPS into this, these objectives. Just by that one item difference. And obviously, same for comparing it to Storm Razor. I have 15% more attack speed. Looks like I get away with this. Awesome. That, I would say that's a good trade. Now, my team should try not die. Because that doesn't have to be part of the trade. Yeah. 
You think Salas is basing there? I'll throw a random rocket. I don't need it for anything else. Oh. Oh well. Hmm. I don't know if I should be cancelling my base. Oh, hello, Fizz. What the hell? Well, this blows. Yeah, no vision. This is maybe good, though. Oh, that is a tragedy if he doesn't kill Vayne. Wow. That would have prevented them from doing Baron, I think. Okay, she got one kill. Damn, if only Vayne died, man. That is tragic. Yeah, I should have just based, honestly. I couldn't do much to stop them doing Baron. Literally, the only way I could stop them doing Baron was by distracting them by dying. You know? Here. Fizz stops doing Baron because I died to him. Cool. Very useful. Ah, oh, but he just needed one other to kill her. How did he not land it? <clears throat> Maybe even W, I'm not sure he used it. Can't tell. I right, probably won't Phantom Nets now for better kiting. Ugh. Try will think. Nah, he's on Grump. Either way, it wasn't going to get there in time before his recall. Okay. Just one team fight. I'm begging you. Just one. 5v5. That's all I'm asking for. I've had four deaths and none of them have been in a team fight. What? What an int. Or maybe he was sacrificing himself to distract me so that the Garen could later on kill me. Ah, fuck me, but he still got... And suck. Target chip is only, please! Fuck me, now I'm dead. God damn it, I hit the ward once, I think, which was enough for me to delay killing Lee Sin long enough for Garen to reach me. One team fight? That's all I'm begging for. We're not just always getting massively outnumbered. Or solo flanked by the Garen with nobody to peel for me as well. It's still equally unideal. Oh my god, that is three cannons in one wave. What the fuck? Yorick is gonna be so rich after that. Damn. How do you get three cannons in one wave, man? That's the luckiest day of his life. Bro, literally just got a... Pretty much a kill just from cannons alone, let alone the rest of the wave. Uh, Yorick might win this, even after getting hit by the fizzle. Yeah, it's so one-sided. If he chases, though, he might die. As Fizz gets cooldowns back and back and back and back. But maybe not. He is healing as well. From having a red buff. Two cannons, it's my birthday too. Oh, come. Difference is Yorick doesn't lean with the support. I'm helping. Look, Jinx, let's kill this cannon together. Fuck my life. What is going on there? Let's try and help. Oh, he's just dead. Uh. Was that a Garen that was with him, by the way? I don't want to face check into Garen. Yep. Maybe place those too early. Holy shit. How did she have a 900 gold shutdown, by the way? Jesus. Okay, that is huge shutdowns altogether. I don't even care that I didn't get both of them. Like, I'm literally full build already, right? Actually, I should have... I was trying to get the last kill. I shouldn't have been. I'm already full build either way. I should be letting Katarina have that thousand gold shutdown. I didn't notice it at the time, though. We kill Fizz. Doesn't matter that I missed time the W. It's the only timing I had anyway. But I just need the traps to land. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't place my traps in time. My bad. <laughs> Holy sin. I don't have traps to place under him this time. Listen. He's just AFK or a rage quit or what? Nice fucking Yorick wall. Garen gets so fucked there. Dude, we grouped once and it's all it took. GG. Wait, can we kill this Garen? Damn. Get the sprint away from the fizzle. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Let's just end. If I can get my kill, though, I will. Ah! Oh well, GG. <laughs> the static shift snowball was actually kind of crazy. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. This game gonna be playing Jinx Lux into Vein Renata. Renata running Grasp for some reason. Like that's normal. Should be a decent matchup anyway. We got two fairly high range pressure champions, Jinx and Lux, into Vein. A very short range ADC. At least Vayne had the foresight to run uh, Fleet Footwork, which is very good. I agree with that completely. I think it's very good on Vayne. Especially into these sort of matchups, but it's not a miracle maker. It can only do so much. As long as we play appropriately, we're going to be dealing a lot of damage that she can't fight back against. Okay, just going to get an early, very early crash there. I think Echo started red buff, right? I think they leashed. So I should probably be pathing topside. I'm gonna place a ward just in case. Placing a ward there so it covers both the river and also him coming out of the tri brush. You can see Vayne just isn't having a whole lot of fun here. If even have a chance of playing this lane, she'd most likely want an engage support, but it is just all, as a whole a very bad lane for Vayne since she doesn't even have that good good follow-up to a uh, support's engage. Ow. That is a lot of damage to be taken from the turret. So, my bad. And then Vayne takes even more from the Luxie. Normal. Okay, I probably would have missed that W anyway. It's good that I didn't have mana. Oh. Wow, that was actually a kill. Nice one. Renata doesn't have Ignite, by the way. This is a big risk for me to be trying to farm this, but I think the wave state would be unideal if I didn't crash it. So let's try it. I've got vision, right? Yeah, for a little bit longer. Also, kind of need to make sure that Renata isn't going to freeze this. Awesome. We do not have Echo interrupting our shove. We just get a clean CS lead here. Awesome. And of course, baby, you just know that we are going to be trying out that Static Shove Rush again. It's worked out so well in the last game, obviously, the mid game. Run, in, run into some hiccups with that really fed Garen, but I don't think Storm Reserve would have done. It, it might have sent me from like the occasional. Death, like, but realistically, I think most likely I would have still had like three out of four deaths or whatever it was. Five deaths, maybe three out of five deaths would have still been the same anyway. And the static shift really did help me get so strong in the early game because it was actually huge. Like I said, the stats are amazing compared to the alternatives. Yeah. 
Where the hell is their bot lane? Vayne in particular. We're just going to keep freezing as long as I don't know where they are because this is how we deny the most farm. When they're back in lane, we don't necessarily like have enough of a lead where we can necessarily win trades while freezing. So we would want to switch over to slow pushing at that point. Either way, it's going to switch over to slow pushing at this point anyway with these melees going into turret. I can't help it. But it's a Radis Vein happens to enter lane anyway, so it's perfect timing. This is when I would have wanted to stop freezing anyway. I want to make sure she doesn't get this cannon, if I can help it. Okay, she got it. Was it worth it for her? Only she could say that, but I would say probably not. Terrible W, my bad. Or at least for at the very least unlucky timing. Or the Duke Rod as it cost it. Hmm, could be getting run down by an inferior. I can't even ward without being afraid of getting ganked at the, at the time. Yeah, there's definitely somebody here that wants to gank. There it is. You can tell just from their positioning. <coughs> Ugh. Nefiri could still be around. We need to see her mid before we can be 100% certain we're not getting ganked still. We have some vision, which is nice, but I'm still not going to let my guard down. Okay, there we go. Now we see her. And we also see Echo mid at the same time. So we know we're alone here. I want to... Get these three minions and then go place a ward in the dry bush. If they have a pink, then I'll clear that. They have a pink. Okay, that fight is moving away from us, so nothing to do there. Why did Lux randomly E this wave? I lost almost an entire min wave here just for clearing a pink ward. Are you kidding me? That shouldn't have happened. Okay. Got the free ultimate there between the W slow, which is not that strong this early, you know, in the early game. So it's not like a free ultimate just because I landed my slow. But because I hit the slow as well as having Vayne near a wall there, that made it for made for a very easy to land ult there. I missed last game when I didn't have a when I had a support that didn't have amazing whip clear. Oh, that did nothing. I'll shove one more wave in base. <clears throat> Alright, time to get out of here. I've got no cover now. We could stay around, stick around and try and pressure, but I do have a really good base, and I don't think they're going to be able to deny farm if I stay, so... If I leave, sorry, so. Are they even going to risk trying to shove? They are going to risk it. Or they're going to slow push, which would be a tremendously bad idea. You need to either base here or you need to hard crash it. If they slow push here, I'm playing Jinx, a champion with amazing wave clear. I'm going to get into the lane and I'm going to start pushing this back towards them. And they're going to be in the exact same situation they were in before I based. Except this time I have more items and full mana. They want a base now. I'm not going to let them. I'm going to start pathing towards here. This vein base is not happening. Exactly. I just need to place a ward. Thought they have a pink. Yeah, nice. And boom. Back to square one. This is exactly where they were before I based, except with a little bit more HP from Thrones Blade and HP regen. And I'll just keep promo shoving waves on the turret because we have such an easy time pressing them on the turret. Oh. An enemy has been <clears throat> because they really need to base. So if they base and I insta shove a wave, I thought there was a TP there, but it's just a ward icon. And I insta shove every wave, then they never get a 
chance to recall without missing out on at least one full wave. But not only that, not only do they miss a wave if they recall, but we also pretty much take the turret. They needed to recall. I would say the safest timing was without shoving this wave, just recall, miss out on that wave, get back into lane, and arrive to a slow push. Which, okay, to be fair, I'm going to break that really easily, so it's still not ideal. But, yeah, it's way better than getting back here and just having to lose your turret for your recall. Recall that you need to make, otherwise you're going to fucking die. Nice, we deny the full wave. Yeah, I have no idea where Nefiri is. Could be ganking us. Our bolt isn't here, so hopefully we would live. Ah, uh, Mr. Paul Della sits there. <laughs> Need 200 gold for my static shove. I'm trying to provide some value to Malphite here because I'm gonna have to rotate bot almost instantly. So it's like, yeah, sorry for taking your farm, buddy. Oh, shit, I could have participated in this fight actually. Looks like they got him anyway. And I'll just shove out a wave or two. And then hopefully I can base for static shove. I'm not even 100% sure if I would beat Vayne in a fight here. She does have, you know, Vayne as a champion is supposed to have better all-ins than a champion like Sivir. Sorry, a champion like Jinx. And we're stuck in a, like, longish lane. I was pretty far away from my threat there, so there is a world where she could actually 1v1 me there, just because I haven't even spent my gold yet. So we're gonna play that cautiously, I'm not gonna try and shove in another wave. I've already got the gold, then I base. At the end of the day, I'm not even, like, fed through kills, I just have a, a pretty big CS lead is all. So I'm, I can't get too cocky or I'm gonna lose my lead. Nice. I think Renata probably should have looked for a much sooner ultimate. And was pretty much dead by the time she ulted. Okay, hopefully I'm not face checking into an assassin here when I go clear this pink, which... I have to randomly go into, like, face check the brush to clear suddenly. Does the word run out? Lux do not! Oh, I got zero farm from that whole full wave, man. It is so bad. Oh god damn it, I'm dead now. Unless oh fuck me. That's actually a little bit unfortunate. I was sure we would kill Echo there. What did I get slowed by by the way? Oh, right, the Echo Zone. Yeah, I thought it was fine because obviously he was going to be perma-rooted there, so he couldn't stun me. I didn't count for the fact that the slow itself could still fuck me over there. Oh, well. At least, because I'm not massively fed, that's just a regular kill, not a massive shutdown or anything. It's not a huge throw. Um, I think I can probably get away with doing Infinity Edge this game. Let's try that. It's my preferred base here with these components as well. Or otherwise, alternatively, I could have sold my refillable for zeal. Would have also been decent. This is definitely more damage, though. Not even sure if she got that cannon. Hopefully not. Just behind her while she's slowed. Okay. That W... Oh, sorry, that ultimate was not expected to kill her, but I know it's going to do a lot of damage if it hits her. So I may as well. Damage is useful. And I'm not expecting to be able to kill her anyway, so no point saving it for the lost hit.
Ooh, unlucky echo. Good trap from my mid laner and support there. Renan's at some point will actually be nice to have against Nefiri. We can get rid of the pack mates. And also just to increase AoE damage onto her as well, actually. If I auto attack Nefiri while she's surrounded by pack mates and, I have, and I've got Renan's, it literally massively amplifies my rocket's damage against her. Uh, do I go bot? I think I do. Yeah, it's the soonest wave to get shoved in. Interesting black labor rush on the Fury, by the way. Okay, I can base for BF Sword now. Nice one. I don't think I'm getting much out of Static Shift this particular game. It's not that it's not strong, but it's just that they're just not dying. Hmm, we'll see if it helps in the mid-game at all. I mean, it's helping me get farm at least. That's always nice. Uh, that is spawning in 10 seconds, but our jungler is bot side, so it's pointless. I'm just gonna go do the scuttle crab. Oh, it's gone already. Okay. Okay, now we can. <laughs> nice. To be honest, I had my brain turned off there. I didn't even register Echo being there. Okay, pretty solid. Nearly got Infinity Edge too. Okay, Renata. Wow, she lives. Okay, I don't think we can kill her. Two near escapes with flash. Alright, there's Lawiano on the other side. Oh, hello. She's a melee ranger. Oh my god, that looked like it hit me. There we go. I want to keep my lethal tempo stacked. Get to disengage from the vein while she has the Renata revive. Can't risk trading one for one, just for it to be zero for one. Okay, Trundle really should have been with us. That was a potentially game ending angle, but whatever. Nobody seems to have died, it's all good.
Hmm. Did I just not crit her a single time when not attacking her? Nice. This burn should be free, I hope. Freer than the Herald that Echo nearly stole. Holy shit, I'm slowed by the Baron. I, I couldn't escape the Renata ult only because I was slowed by the Baron at that exact moment without realizing it. Nice one. Good luck. Oh, oh god. Okay, huge. This is a Penta. <laughs> god bless the United States of America. Sent. Oh, we don't get to see the Renan's on the Rena or uh, the Fury though. That would have been nice. Actually, I really don't want to see the <laughs> Renan's into Renata ult onto my own team. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game. Of Jinx the Diamond. This game I'm going to be playing Jinx Tarek into Kaisa Milio. Forgot to update the win loss. One second. There we go. I might have promoted to Silver 3, I don't remember, but we'll keep it Silver 4 for now. <clears throat> anyway, matchup should be okay. Maybe the hardest matchup we've had so far today, though, because we have Tarek into double ranged. Tarek is much more effective into melee supports. But at least Kais is fairly short ranged, so it's not like she can massively cut the Taric. There are much better ADCs for doing so. Wait, what is Taric of Lethal Tempo? <laughs> but you can see the Taric damage. So what happens when he can actually get into auto attack range. That is why he prefers landing into melee supports, who he can easily land his uh, damage onto. But if he's going to face double range, at least let the ADC be short ranged. Oh, I actually got hit by that. I'm gonna level Q here because I don't have much mana to be adding E into my pool of spells. Okay. Oh no, I thought I saw Bar top lane, never mind. There's no way I can land a W there, or any, obviously. Too far away. Okay, I would say that we should just look to base here. We got a nice lead as it is, but if I stay much longer, I might just get out sustained. Or out poked because of the melee. Actually, this is really good though. Ah, don't get to land the traps, but... Okay, that's a lot of damage for guys to take. I need to pop ghost now though, with Briar showing up. Bro's probably gonna try and flash stun me. Okay, I got her. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, Tark is actually really good at fighting, so I see why he wanted to go for that fight there, but. 
didn't quite work out exactly how we would have preferred it to, but still getting the Kaiser kill. Certainly better than nothing. I don't know if I can... Ooh, I think I already fucked up here, but we'll see. Okay. Damn. Buddy. Okay, I need the base here. This sucks. Or unless... What the hell is she doing? Come on. It's like so much yes I missed out on already. But what the hell? I was not expecting her to randomly turn around. That was beyond stupid. Okay, so at least I got a kill out of all of that CS that I missed. That makes me happier about it. Come on. Nicely done, guys. Tarek with a zero lethal tempo stacks after that fight. Really not sure that's the right choice, even if it synergizes with his passive. Ziggs? Ah, missed. That's nice one. I got blue buffs, so I can spam as many abilities as I want. Oof. Nice, I got the plating. Shared with Tarek, though. How awkward is that? He was so far back. Oh well. Oh my god. Oop. I'm sorry, Tarek, I didn't want to risk it. I don't even really need the base here, to be honest. Oh. Huh. Nice. The awkward thing is that Tarek kind of does need the base, and I, we just lost our opportunity to cheese. Nice. Wow, where did both of them? Not bad. Honestly, it wasn't even that good a trap placement. Or is it uh, like timing to use traps, even? But the outcome was pretty nice. Getting ganked. Let's just save. Don't want to trade into that shield. Oh. Just behind the prior to cut her off. There we go. Because I can't rely on... Come on. Nice. Okay, I didn't even need Ghost in hindsight, but it will. Yeah, I couldn't rely on um, the CC lasting long enough for the traps to land. Oh, I thought he wanted that. Did, did he not have it? He had a stack. I'm sure he had a stack. Weird. Ooh, I'm so close to static ship. How awkward is that? Okay, if I get this plating, then I got it. Wonderful. Yep, let's just try the Static Shiv over the Berserkers, see how we get on with that.
It's a difference of 15% attack speed, but I get 20 more AD. And obviously the wave clear. Sorry, Tarek, you're not going to make it in time. <laughs> Poor guy. Gonna fall back there. And they're walking forwards to get me. That's when he shines. <laughs> nice one, Yoni. Ah, fuck's sake, I was worried that might happen. Can't really get aggro because she's not gonna die in this particular scenario. Ooh. Fuck. Nah, I was trying to flash it. Okay. No way I live, right? Ooh. Oh my god, that timing. But I'm still so dead, right? Yeah, apparently that's not even interruptible. Or was it? I don't know. I could have just run running upwards. I was trying to bait her into the traps. That was such perfect timing, though. Went into the terror cult right as it uh, actually uh, went into effect. Nice. And avoided an auto in the process. Swave so should push towards us. Yeah, try and leave it. Okay, good. He's being nice and patient. Not ruining the wave state to loss at it early. Dark isn't in lane yet, so I don't have prior to go farm, so I'm just gonna get golems. Maximize my CS per minute. I'd rather get golems over just playing safe in lane. So I get more farm that way. Did I miss any CS at all for this? No. I literally just got like, well, four CS for free by doing golems. This could be for us. Yes, it is. Ooh. Do I want to use skill force this game? Would be good for Briar. I, th I think I probably do. Hello. Hmm. Need the ghost. Ult just for AoE. Ah, damn it. That sucks. Gotta be very careful wall. She has shield and I don't have W. One, she's dead. I don't have vision. Why don't I have vision? I think there's a briar with red trinket there, right? Or was that just Melia with red trinket? Might have been Melia's red trinket, even though I couldn't see it weirdly enough. Ah, those are terrible traps, though. But this buys me some time to kite her around the traps, though. Yeah, she's dead. She fucked that up. She needed to play more patiently, I would say. She could... Try and block off my escape, but not just be constantly walking around the traps trying, trying to chase me through the traps. She needed to not be thanking me, uh, be thanking my autos for so long. It was a bit hard for her to navigate though, but she, she just needed to play more patiently. Because eventually the traps will just expire. All she needs to do is block off my escape, so that the only place I can run is over here, where I'm just going to run into her turret, which is not useful. Instead, if she just like tries to chase me around the traps, and I could just kite her around the traps, then obviously... I just keep DPSing her and she dies before the traps expire. She just needed to be buying time, waiting for the traps to expire. That Nessus is dead dead. 
Oh, he just leveled up. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Ooh, that's rough. Damn. I say we rotate mid. Drake up in 40. Ooh. Did I just say up pink there? No. There's no point walking around here. That's way too safe. Nice one. Perhaps kind of useless, but it will. Huh. That was a bit risky to go for. Oh, hello. Nice, I'm fine then. If I just didn't lose vision, I would have been able to fully finish him myself. Hopefully one of my teammates get him instead. Ooh, that is rough. Was that enough for us? Huh. Who, did, who the hell did she throw that at? I guess Yoni. Would have made way more sense for her to buff topside though, I would say. Yep, she was going for Yoni. Hmm. And their team is prioritizing defending vault line over top lane for what exactly? Alright, let's not overstay though. We do not need Lord Dominic's yet. Nobody on their team has enough armor to justify it. And won't have enough in the foreseeable future, since they're so behind compared to me. Drops behind Nessa, so he can't chase that guy down. He can chase me down now, though. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> Speed is 1.08, Jesus. He denied me 1.8 attack speed, man. How insane is that? I'll let him have this. I can rotate mid. Oh, Tarek is farming it. Of course he is! Fuck me for thinking I could just get farm from mid lane and leave some farm for Tom Kench. I should have taken Tom Kench's farm. So my team, well, my support did not leave me any farm on the lane I was supposed to farm. Not much of a support. Jesus, he doesn't run out of cooldowns. That's why we need lifesteal. Yeah, I'm too far away from Bloodthirster to stay all the way for it. We'll base for Vamp Scepter. For my ult around here. I expect the fight to not move very far, probably. Okay, there's some damage. I won't help, though. Or does it? Ooh, it almost got Ziggs killed. Almost.
don't know if Kaisa has ult or not. That Kaisa was almost killable. Well, she was killable there with Gil Force, but I wouldn't have been able to risk it after I heard the prior ult anyway. Oh, hello. Ow, Jesus. Jesus, I need to flash. And I might still die anyway. Might. It's looking promising though. Nice one. Fuck. A good old pack up. Hopefully that kills them. Oh no, the Mahokai Q. Nice one, guys. Okay, not even close. Now I got Bloodthirster. Drake is up in 40. Probably Lost Whisperer should be my next item, I imagine. Otherwise, I can just do Fire Cannon. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Nice. If he didn't have a shutdown, then I don't see why that's not worth it. He's the support, so he doesn't want to farm. And Kaisa dies, so she can't farm when she does want to farm. That trade is always worth it if you're the support and you don't have a shutdown. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have expected him to kill Nasus. I was hoping the guy just knew his damage better than I, better than I do, but... I was a bit ambitious thinking he could kill Nasus in what was the remaining of his E. Can do Raptors. Okay, Tarek just randomly takes a minion for no reason. Okay, when I said that Tarek doesn't want to farm, I, what I really should have said was that Tarek shouldn't want to farm. Clearly he does. Ooh. Just that though. Bad W. Dead though. Jinx nerf, what jinx nerf? 4.37 attack speed, baby. <laughs> what nerf indeed. With only one speed up, though, what is... 2.63, okay. Not that spectacular. Throw him into the traps, throw him into the- uh, It just made the most sense to throw him into the traps, man. Oh well. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. In this game we're going to be playing Jinx Thresh into Vayne Morgana. I think this is actually the first properly bad matchup we've had. I do have an, like sort of an advantage against Vayne, but... Morgana gets countered by Thresh to the point where Thresh is not going to be much of a factor in this lane in theory. And at that point... Um, if it's just like 1v1 between me and Vayne, like I beat her in trades, but I also get all in by her really easily, and Morgana spell shield will facilitate that for her when she eventually gets level 6. But until then, we're favored. Might already be a kill, we'll see. Okay. Nice. 
nice one. Okay, cool. And lucky thrush. Happens to the best of us. Happens. Oh well. Go ahead and base. Can I grab, I guess. My, prefer my preference here is cool and dagger. I just like cool, man. It's a cool, cool item. That was a terrible attempt at a pun. Damn. We're starting five gold. Can't really tread into them when they go this massive wave, so we just chill at the back. Be patient. Do not look for engages, Thresh. Okay, we should just look to start slow pushing here. We shouldn't actually be trying to push. We might just want to crash this next wave, though. Yeah, th because we've got so many minions from this other wave surviving because I started off pushing when I shouldn't have been. It's going to push this next wave really fast, so we should focus on just getting it to crash. Like, cleanly, so it's a full reset. Backing off, and I'm gonna start spamming autos on the minions. Fuck, slow pushing, I want a lifesteal. Every auto right now is like... 6 healing, I think it was. Ooh, careful, we're getting ganked. I don't have ghost, this could be bad. Probably try and kill Morgana? Ah, damn it. But we got the vein though, nice one. And if Thresh sits in the wave, he might actually stand a chance at surviving Kha'Zix. Maybe even beating him. Nah, he, he'll probably survive it either way. You just can't beat him if he plays it like that. An enemy has been slain. Or, or Kha'Zix can dive, I guess. Yeah, he actually tried to dive. That's wild, because there was no chance he was ever going to beat... Uh, or, you know, kill Thresh in a dive there. Way too greedy. I mean, maybe Thresh just straight up hooked him? I don't know. Wasn't watching. You think I'm crazy? You should see my sister. Anyway, I see no reason why we can't just do static shift again this game. It's working pretty nicely. It feels good as well. That is just a very strong early game item. Early to mid game. I'd say the only time Storm Reserve is actually decidedly better is late game. Nice, decent damage dealt there. <sighs> okay. Oh, what? Uh, I think the lantern minion blocked me into the for it. It's crazy if that's what happened, but I think it was. Ooh. Okay, he barely lives. God bless. Of 
course, playing with far there. You got Rengar in the river, so we know we're not being ganked by Kha'Zix at the very least. We are being ganked by Zed, though. Nice. Ooh, I tried. Okay, not bad. Zed can't kill me without his ult, so... Damn it. Got him. Nice one, huge. Could have been huger if she just didn't flash my ult. The vein. Oh, she's still here. I'm not that healthy compared to her, so I'm mostly gonna ignore her and just hit the wave for now. If I fight her, I want to have a massive minion advantage and to have healed up from Colandorn's blade and bloodline left still combined. See, now I'm significantly, significantly healthier than her. Ah, well, bef was before taking that throw shot. She also took my W, though. Actually, I've got ult in a second. Not a second, exactly, but... Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> I might have missed anyway there, I'm not sure. But unfortunate, though. Almost got blocked into that. I'd be so pissed if I got hit by that because of the block. We need to be cautious here. We could be ganked. We don't have much vision. Yeah, Zed is on the way. I'm out of here. Nice. I got a... Well, actually, I don't have that big a shot down. Wouldn't be a disaster if I die here, but obviously I'd still rather not. Nobody needed to serve in that wave. Oh, well. Nice. Oh no. Oh, maybe I should have ulted Morgana. Whoa, no way. Nice one. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was hoping I'd randomly hit Morgana there. <laughs> Since I know she only started recalling fairly late. I got this turret anyway. I'm literally just trying to prioritize harassing them before taking the turret, but I know I'm getting the turret. They're the ones that were deluding themselves into thinking they could defend that. That's the opportunity for me to deal damage and still take it. Alright, time to base spend my gold. Well, it'll love it I have anyway. Or we can just go for there. Rake. I did just do plenty of damage to the bot lane after all, so... Vayne and Kha'Zix anyway. They don't have a blast gun, do they? Hope not. Do I want to do... Yeah, I probably want to do, um... Build for us here. Ooh. Oh, the level up saves them. Nice one. Shut down. 
Wow, he actually killed her. Got him. I push turrets way faster than Pain does, so... I don't mind pushing mid while potentially leaving Vayne able to farm, or, you know, farm and push bot. Vayne is here anyway. Bad timing on the W. I don't think we need to dive her here. No, ridiculously stupid decision to make. Oh well. Oh, hello. I'll flash. Sorry, not flash. Ghost. No, I need to back off. If Zed gets W back up, I could die. Without his W though, I was fine. That's why I was initially fighting back there. We're too grouped here. I'll just base. Could kill Zed if I land this ult. Where's he gonna go? So is he gonna base here or is he gonna rotate bot? I think he's gonna base there. Let's try it. Oh! I was right. I'm sure he must have been basing there, but he cancelled it for whatever reason. Oh well. Oh, it's all gone. What the hell? Nice. Kill goes to me, that means I get red. <laughs> Ow. What is this block, bro? I should have been able to... <laughs> should have been able to W Morgana. At least she it turns out she had flash anyway. Gotta be very careful, I don't die to Zello. Thank God. Ow. What the fuck? Didn't notice the shadow there. Alright, got red buff the hill from and I've also got a bunch of, a bunch of lifesteal. Okay, he's probably gonna be going for me. Do I need to flash? I think I do. Yeah. Let's go Yomu so he's pretty fast. Annoying Swain W. Yep, that Swain W actually got me killed, but it was get hit by the Swain W or blues out on the cannon. <sighs> How sad is that? It was so far fetched that I would even die even if I did get hit by the Swain W. I knew there was a risk, but I thought it was still unlikely. It's the fucking Zed willing to flash that made it happen. God, that's sad. Because obviously, my decision to. Wait, did he flash? Yeah, he did. He did. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, my decision there was basically uh, made up by the fact that Zed didn't have ult. So I was like, I mean, it's unlikely that I die here, right? You'd have to flash. And then he flashed, and it's like, yeah, well. As I said, he needed to flash. Realistically, I just needed to give up the cannons and Zed to bigger shutdown to risk just for a Cannon, but it is what it is. Usually I'd get away with that. <clears throat> and it was a weird situation to be put in. I haven't even seen Swain this entire game is what made it especially like hard to react pr pr appropriately to. I wasn't expecting anything like that to happen. Wait, did Kazi's just ulti dead? What the fuck? That was such a random time to do it that I almost... It had me second guessing whether that's really what happened. Oh, thank God. Wait, I need to get away from Zed, my bad. And space the Zed. Ult at least. Wow. 
Nice one. Hmm. Might still be able to get Morgana for my lethal tempo. Yes! Just barely holds on. And I'm... No, okay, I'm not dead. Nice. That our charm is the only reason why we were able to actually kill her in the end, though. That was pretty nice timing. Alright, pretty much their entire team wants to kill me, so I'm going to prioritize some defensive stats here, which is, in this case, just lifesteal. Just so I'm always healthy. I could do... Let's go to crab here. Like it's smart. Got it. <laughs> and he's dead. That's funny. Doesn't even get the scuttle crab in this situation. How sad. Hmm. Oh god, oh, I have turret aggro right as Kha'Zix ends up on top of me, that sucks. Yeah, that was definitely not a smart decision in any world, Fesh. <laughs> it's the second time he just dives vein under turret at a ridiculously bad time. When anyone in the enemy team could have been there to fuck us over. Oh well. I knew I would get turret aggro there, I just wasn't expecting anybody to be on me, I thought they'd be on Thresh. I guess he stealthed onto me, or... Yeah. No idea where he came from. No, he, okay, I see where he came from, actually. Kind of weird, actually. That he would choose to go on me there. I don't know if he is, like, a prophet and knew I was willing to take third aggro or what, but... He'd have been completely wasting his time if I wasn't actually willing to take third aggro there. But I hadn't noticed him sneaking through here. Apparently we had vision of him doing it. Can get red and raptors on the way to the minion wave, I guess. Oh, by the way, I could have just sold my coal for a uh, quick cloak. No reason why I shouldn't do that. I missed one CS for the raptors. No bad. Oh, my bad. Shit, and I'm the one that got hit. I'm dead now. Most likely? Oh, okay, I didn't get stunned. Awesome. Oh, I have guilt for us. I completely forgot. My bad. Cool. Fuck me. Wait. <laughs> that loss of vision was awkward. Alright, I'm fine in the end. Dead. Nice one. So awkward when you just randomly lose 2.0 attack speed or whatever. Yeah, let's do the Drake. I already have that. Whoops. Ah, she got the... Got a card with her W. I do not want to even bother trying. I just want to get my Bloodthirster. Okay, I'm going to have to cancel my base and participate in this fight. 
Fight is over. Wow, riveting. <laughs> Great use of our time. When I could be basing and spending 2800 gold. There we go. Fire cannon should be fine. Ooh, nice one. I'm going to thank this. Good enough. Nice one. I'm going to go top lane, I guess. Next Drake is up in three minutes, which is far enough away that I can just go to the nearest lane instead of just playing around bot side. Uh, either way, I, I can just base for Azil here. I don't need to stay right now. I guess we can go bot. Doesn't really matter, to be honest, which lane we go to. But I do want to be grouped with the team, at least. Is she dead to that? Ooh, close. She might have been. Damn it, my start no passive. Ow, ow, ooh, owie. Let's not do that. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. This game, I'm going to be playing Jinx Rakan into Ezreal Zyra. Going to be going for a little bit of cheese on the enemies here. Could be quite good. Okay, that's all we have to do. Let's not chase them into the enemy jungler. Ah, oh, they cleared my ward. How annoying is that? Okay, I got I missed some XP there actually. That's an ideal. I could have gotten all of the XP while they missed some. But I will. I didn't miss all of it at least. And not terrible. Gonna finish shoving the sun. We just use this time to pressure them under turret. They're taking so much damage there. They should have been trying to avoid that. And just focus on lust hitting. <clears throat> Gonna level Q because I don't have too much mana to be using on traps. They both have for strike, I just noticed. Ooh, do we have a 
Right, now we actually have heal. Interesting. Okay, and I have a word for another 50, well, 57 seconds. Now that it's recon, so we don't have much vision here. We may just want to maybe crash in one more wave and then just focus on slow pushing or freezing. Less Ezreal. Oh. Nice one. Oh. Nice, okay. Ezreal based, so we could actually just already base, but... Might as well get that Kalanzara. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get the plating, so I'm just going to get out of here early. Oh, maybe he can get it. Nice, he did, and I get it as well. Nice one. Not bad. Yeah, nah. This is going to be a lot better. So we're gonna say Zara could be in a rush to cheese. God, I wasn't expecting that from a slow from the plants though. I was thinking I would dodge Zara Ian, that would be that. Okay, surprisingly didn't lose much HP from that, I guess. There was probably a Rakan Guardian in there, which saved me a lot of health. Okay, we fully thinned out the wave. We see Lisa in top side. I'm um, sorry, uh, bot side. Top of me is what I was thinking there. <laughs> Ooh, Rakan has a pink. Hmm. Actually, he should have placed his pink there and then we could have used my chicken on something else. We don't have any good vision to place in that try is the unfortunate thing here because that is... If we place their um, Rakan's pink there, that is so easy for them to clear. against the wall. Ooh, but I didn't quite aim it right. Didn't have the perfect angle either. Okay, I have no idea where Leeson is. I'm gonna conserve mana. I'm just gonna shove with regular autos instead of rockets. I don't mana to pressure them. Rakan has a trinket in two seconds. So we can ward. Where's Rakan going? Well, I can ward now. Whoa, wait. Oh, what is Leeson doing there? Also, I... Wow, I actually just killed Ezreal. Okay, I'm not taking aggro. Nice. Absolute bait. Cannot kill Zara, though. Okay. Let's stick around for the W if she was actually recalling, which she isn't. So I'll save my cooldown for a better moment. Wait, I need to flash that. Hmm, we actually, none of us are tanky enough to actually survive, uh, like, healthy enough to actually tank the turret. 
That's awkward. I didn't notice that. I need to get out of here then, and hopefully we're not getting killed by Malphite here. Cool. Awkward. Oh well. Nice. I can get the refillable. Damn, that's rough. Ah. If Leeson was sticking around to dive me here, I'd probably just have to give up on this wave. It would be the safe thing to do anyway. As always, the riskier choice of trying to outplay. Honestly, I shouldn't even be shoving this. I should rotate straight over. She's dead. <clears throat> or would have been. Try and kill Leeson. Come on. Oh. No, that's just ridiculously sad. Holy shit. Yeah, at least Zara died. And I assume I got an assist off of that. But fuck. If I just gone in sooner, man. Would have killed Leeson before he had a chance to get the Drake. And I would have had time to kill him. Ooh, close. Careful, Rakan. Okay, Zara doesn't have a pink ward. It's unlike Laser will get one, so I'll place a trinket there. And know that it's not about to get immediately cleared. 100% guaranteed. I would gladly just ult them both if I knew it would hit them both. Just to get some AoE damage down for pressure, but... If I can't hit them both, then it's not worth it. Because hitting them both doubles the damage. It's only single target damage, it's not worth it compared to saving it as an execute. I should be careful here, actually. I don't want to all in as I roll ult. Or get all in. <coughs> Yeah, I can base for static shift now. In theory. Got her. Nice one. I was just about to recall if he didn't gank. Instead, I got a double. Don't know where their mid laner is. It's small fight though, so he's pretty scary. Fuck me, I was under turret at the moment. That sucks. Thought I might have reset the aggro there, but I failed. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Ooh, nobody gets the slow call gold either, unless it just doesn't die? Oh, my God. No way it survives with 4 HP. Holy crap. That is insanely lucky, I guess. I need Gil Force this game. Probably, anyway. Oh. 
Oh, damn, that Malphite is so fat, and I assume you got a massive shutdown for me as well. What the hell? Yikes. Oh, he's got no E, so if he doesn't have flash, he's dead. Nice. Nice one, Rakan. <laughs> Let's not delay. <laughs> Plus, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't get the plating. Since they're about to run out. I could just base directly for the offside. Or I could just go mid. Syndra isn't even mid at the moment, so. She's not AFK, is she? Oh, she is AFK. Oh, that explains that. Hmm. We'll see what we can do. Maybe the end of the 17 game win streak. Whoops, I was considering flashing. Okay, I guess I live. Holy crap. I don't know if it's even worth using flash in that situation though, because I don't have that big a shutdown anyway. Okay, it should be dead here. Or maybe not. Got him. Huge. Wow, okay. That is so insanely lucky overall. In hindsight, it was worth flashing. Well played from Rakan, by the way. Just barely kept me alive there. I was so sure I was dead. Yeah, I should have just flashed the Malphite ult. <laughs> I was just torn between uh, placing traps on myself or Malphite ulting away. And just, or, sorry, flashing away. And I just ended up placing traps away. <laughs> Good compromise. Alright, need the base. Already got a girl for us, huge. So did Cinder actually leave the game, or is she just sitting on the fountain waiting for the game to end? Sitting on the fountain waiting for the game to end? No, okay, she did to see, like, two minutes afterwards. Was that after the Muffet shot me down, or...? No, that was, uh, before, even. Hmm. Oh, god. Fuck me, I'm actually just dead. <laughs> I didn't expect that, my bad. Well played, Zyra. Hard to avoid that. We had vision of Zarga. We should. We actually had the information to know this could happen, though. But I just wasn't paying enough attention to the map. Then Zara walked into that brush and never came out. Shit, I think I actually want to do more of my Mortius third item, or at the very least, Hex Shrinker. It's extreme, but I think I actually do really need badly need a super defensive item to counteract their one win condition, which is Malphite. Because when you look at the rest of their comp. 2 and 5 Jax, 1 and 4 Lee Sin, 0 and 4 Ezreal, 1 and 4 Zyra. That is 100% the team I could 4v5 against. 100%. It's only the small fight that is going to pose an issue in that regard. So I think just full... Honestly, just a full mom on Mortius, I think, is the way to go here. If I can avoid getting one shot by Malphite, then it could be carryable. Problem is, Malphite by himself is actually a really good champion to prevent me from movie nining, but not if I can actually prevent that with the right items. Nice one. So we'll do Maul straight into lifesteal. Full defensive. I'll risk shoving another wave. Should be fine. I've already got... Hex Drinker, at least, if I just base. Well, if I might come for me.
I don't have shutdowns anymore, so it's not a tragedy if I were to die there. That's why I'm risking it. Okay, he was coming for me, but he didn't see me. He didn't have vision, so he left. So I'm free to shove in yet another whiff. And I can keep on pushing here. I might be able to get this turret. Jax is gonna be... Should be coming straight, but... Oh, no, never mind. Ezreal is here. That's fine. As long as Ezreal is here, then I can't get the turret, so I won't bother trying. Oh, does he have vision here? No? Okay, he didn't seem like he was trying to cancel my base. On the bright side, it's injured. not being in the game means that I have a lot more access to farm. So long as they don't pressure too hard, which so far they're not doing, then I just get so much free farm. Because I just got mid farm, right? And I can get another mid lane wave, and then I can rotate bot, grab that wave too. If they shove it in though, then I can't. That's what I mean by pressuring. Like, the more they pressure, the less farm there is available for me, whether it's because farm dies to the turret or because I can't rotate to it safely. But if I get to shove in two mid lane waves there and then get this bot lane wave and push in bot lane again... Oh. This is a bad path thing. Am I able to get this cannon from ulting Ezreal? Yeah, I got the whole wave. That's actually so nice. That is super worth it. Especially if, because I got the cannon, but... Uh, even the, the other CS was quite valuable as well. So you can see, I'm getting like more than 10 CS a minute right now. I would say I'm on like... The, like over the past few minutes, I've been averaging like 15 CS a minute. Because I got multiple lanes to farm. Maybe I should have flashed that though. I got Hex Drinker. Still. Oh, what? Oh, are you kidding me, the Edge Oh, well. Dude, how, how low do I have to be for the Hex Drinker to Brock? I feel like that waited so long to go. Which obviously is not a bad thing for me. It doesn't make a difference, but it gigabated them off. I'd... Well, not really, because I mean. So, I, he obviously wasn't expecting the Edge and if the Ezreal ult hadn't come, then he would have been baited. Because he would have been expecting me to maybe die to that, but obviously the Hex Drinker worked so fucking late. Anyway, we've got Maw now. This is gonna be huge. That's a significant upgrade in Amar. Bigger shield. How much How much bigger is the shield? It was previously... Huh, it's a smaller shield for a ranged. I didn't know that. It was previously... Oh, I can't actually tell the exact number. 210 max, anyway. Now it's 150 plus 168% of my ID max, whatever that is. Well, it's current. Oh, sorry, it's currently 500 though. Pretty, pretty, pretty much. Now if we can contest the Drake. Oh, definitely not with Shaco getting caught. Well, he killed Zyra. Nice, it didn't hit me. Nice, okay, I guess we get the Drake then. Who's alive? Ezreal. Who is around, by the way. This is awkward, because he, he can absolutely steal. In theory. It's kind of not an option to tank the whole time. We'll just sit behind the Drake. Yeah, can drag it out. <coughs> There's always a chance he just steals this with ult, by the way. The most we can do is block his, like, W and Q. There we go. Nice. Huge. Maybe I get a mid lane turret if I keep pushing here. They're still dead for a little bit longer. Yeah, I can get this. Okay. 
I was being slowed by Zara plants there. I needed to be absolutely sure I wouldn't be in range of my fault. Dude, I've literally <laughs> had something like 20 CS per minute over the past 5 minutes or something. My CS is so ridiculous right now. But see, this is the kind of thing they're doing that just lets me get away with stealing all this farm. Because they're not pressuring me. Okay. Wow, okay, and we should have a burn off of that. This is looking like a free win at this point. I haven't even been my fiddle since I finished Maul. He hasn't even had a chance to try and get on me, and if he does, like, it's not even gonna kill me anyway, so it's looking like a fucking disaster for them if this is how the game is gonna look for them from now on. Got her. I guess she would be exactly there. Okay. Nice one, Shaco. I don't know if... Well, I don't know if it's worth it. He has got a small shot down. Oh, well. Can go bot, get even more farm there. Probably don't even need Lord Dominic's, at least not yet. What to do? Fire Cannon? I think Fire Cannon will be good. Maybe Runans. Ooh, actually, you know what? So, you know how I mentioned about the Runans against Nefiri? There's also, it also happens with a minor extent against Zyra. So the Zyra plants don't like necessarily stick near her allies, like the Nefiri packmates do. But, it, the, the, the plants just add like so much chaos with Runans where you're just constantly also targeting plants with uh, Runans and just getting so much more AoE overall, it can actually add a lot of AoE even onto champions. I'll leave the wolves for Shaco. <clears throat> hey, my friend, my ult. Nice one. Muffet is super low, and I know he just used ult. Should be fine. They trap somewhere on top of myself. Wait, what? Why didn't they trap anyone? Fuck me, I might just be dead now, probably. I'm about to get stunned, so I'm just channeling W and R. Nice. Yeah, just channeling W and R there, so I'm dealing some damage to Jax while I'm stunned. I don't know what went wrong there. I tried to place some traps behind me, so they shouldn't have been able to get onto me. I'm not sure what happened to them. I saw them, and saw the cooldown, but it felt like they didn't go out because they didn't do anything. <laughs> Maybe I misclicked and placed them wrong, I don't know. Maybe I was stunned the moment that I tried to actually place them. I'm not sure. I don't have Maul right now, by the way. All I have is a Mar against the small fight. Okay, he wasted his ult. Ooh, hello, Leeson. And he's dead. So is my fight. Okay, this game could have been a free loss. Also helps the Mordekaiser are apparently go really fed. Bear in mind, by the way, this is easily how fed any ADC could get in solo queue if your teammates just didn't have an ego. I'm so fed mainly because I got so much fucking free farm. You're, you're, my Syndra could easily have just given me that farm even if she was in the game. Look how easily it allows me to 1v9. It's not just because I'm smurfing, like any ADC this fed is going to be fucking monster. This is what happens in pro play as well, is their teammates just let them have all the farm. This is like how, like how the game is meant to be played. But nobody has the ego to let their ADC take all the farm. Just behind me. Oof. 
Damn it. Moffat has spawned, by the way. I need to look prioritize life stealing before anything else. There we go. Back to full. Oh, okay. I don't think that was necessary. I think Moffat is just the AFK now, by the way. Forget this son. Nice one. GG. <laughs> Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. So they invaded through here. I placed a ward, caught them out. They were like, ah fuck. So they walked away. Tried again through here and just killed my jungler. You would hope would be paying more attention at a time like this. Time like this obviously being, you know, my attempt at getting a 19 game win streak. How selfish is he to not be paying attention? Does he not want me to reach the 20 game win streak? What is wrong with him? Anyway, this game we're going to be playing Jinx Zillion with the Varus Pike. This is so awkward, man. I'm having to basically walk into the hook here. Okay, nice. I managed to avoid it. I have to take an auto there, though. And deal two back. Nice one. <coughs> I know, this should be a pretty bad matchup early on, but we'll see how it goes. Should be hitting level 2 faster than them, since I have better wave clear and they didn't start pushing, which in my opinion they should have. Because now they just lost priority over the lane. Now they're suddenly playing on the back foot, when they should have the advantage. And they have a really good bot lane if they can just play aggressively. It's the one thing the bot lane does right. Does well. Particularly the pike. Okay, not bad. Okay, nice, both flashed. I'm sure Zillion planned that bait out exactly to the... Every minute detail, whatever. Ooh, that was a bit of a bullshit one, but I was hoping that would happen. We're getting ganked. I need to flash if Varus is going to ghost because he's going to get in range of me because of that. That's super annoying. Otherwise, I think it would have been fine to just keep walking away. I shouldn't use W while he's ghosting. It's too hard to hit him. Ah, oh, close one. I think we can shove in this wave if we do it real fast. It could really do Zillion helping me, though. Ugh. An enemy has been slain. Let's hope they're not around in time to freeze this. Ah, oh, come on, really? It had almost crashed, man. <laughs> oh well. I probably want to rush Berserkers after this base, if possible, if I base only 100 gold. It's gonna be nice for dodging pike hooks. Also, we're running cleanse, by the way, for the Varus ult. I don't think it was super necessary in this matchup, but it's probably the best choice. Hmm. No vision of that. Awkward. Or, I mean, we got, like, we saw the ward, but we can't, like, press, you know, get the 5 gold from it for some reason. <coughs> Hmm. 
even trying to slow push here. It, slow pushing here, I think, would be fine if I had flash, but if I don't, it's a little bit risky. Just because Pike, even into a slow push, can engage. Especially now they have some form of lead from all these assists. <laughs> I will gladly freeze instead. I'd rather be freezing. It's definitely safer. So we freeze. Didn't cost me too much HP. Surprisingly. I feel like they're doing less damage than usual for some reason. Or maybe it's because I'm playing Jinx, who's maybe tankier than most ADCs. I know she doesn't use cutdown too well. Okay, Pike seems like he's actually Roma because Varus is shitting his pants. Oh, he's back though. Okay, not bad. That was really good. We got the Varus Flash as well, uh, Varus Ghost as well. <laughs> okay, but for realsies, this is the toughest match we've had today. This one we have a chance of not winning lane in. <clears throat> Russ is no mana here actually, I should probably be playing a little bit more aggressive. He's 100% going to be basing here so I'm going to start actually pushing. Nice, baited Varus into cancelling his base. Still gonna keep pushing here, and maybe with any luck we can just kill them under turret. Varus anyway. Do we have any wards actually? Oof, we don't. Maybe just slow push instead and leave the base, I guess. Plus his cane, he would just bypass most wards either way, so... Okay, nice, did some damage to Varus. I just wanted to land my ultimate when I knew it was 100%, well, 99% certain to land. Maybe we can just risk staying now since Varus is so low. And we also have our teammates on the way. Oof. Wait, I got aggro from that. No freaking way. Okay. Not too bad. Back to still level 6. Okay, that's one kill. Ah, damn it. Damn. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better. I think Static Chef is fine again, as usual. My new favorite item on Jinx. Ooh, Fizz needed to get out of there. But, Zillion! Zillion! Oh, how tilting is that, bro? He's just AFK. We could have killed him. I had ult, man. Oh, well. What? Don't know what they're doing over there, but... They might be doing scuttle crabs, I'll try and shove this in. I could base for Quick Look, I guess. Sure. I think I was actually based. No? Okay, there he is. He 
almost certainly did the Scuttle Crab. Which is not worth of missing out on such a large wave force, so. Yep, that shove was pretty good. I identified they were doing Scuttle Crab, and it forces them to either give it up or miss out on more farm than the Scuttle Crab is worth. Oh, man. Killer, please, thank god. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, shit. Exactly what it ended before. Okay, good. I've got the advantage here now. Don't have to care if he ults me. He would have to use it defensively. Ooh. To get rid of that. Do need to be careful now that Pike could be returning to the lane though, as he certainly is. I'm gonna hide out of vision, so I don't know, like, they might assume that I'm just basing here or something. Which makes them shove it faster than if they assume I'm... Well, they should shove it. Should not shove it if they assume that I'm still in lane. Because that denies me more farm. Okay, hopefully I can just shove here. No, okay, Varus is still here. Oh, he's life stood a lot. Okay. Let's go vamps up there. So ideally I needed to keep on pressuring, but obviously with Pike not in the lane. This is a risky engage, by the way. Since we didn't know that Pike wasn't was gone, although now we can be pretty sure. I need only a little bit of gold, so I'm gonna shove this wave in base. Alright, he should beat that, hopefully. Yep, got him. Nice one. Oh, I could have cleansed to the Pikey, my bad. With my passive, I might have escaped. It was a hell of a risk, though, because I could still get potentially pike queued. Yeah, I think it's probably for the best that I didn't actually cleanse, because actually, Pike didn't even, like, go for the hook Q. He just went for the slow Q. So immediately after cleansing, I probably would have been immediately slowed again, so the effectiveness of my passive to escape that situation wouldn't have been so good. Does Zillan actually die with ult up there, by the way? Oh, he so he did, but he, okay, so he didn't actually have it for me, at least, so that's comforting, but I don't know why he didn't ult himself there. That was pretty dumb. Oh, wow, Varus. He got read like a book by this Wukong, man. <laughs> Come on, no way. Ugh. This is such a risk to be taking. The Herald, I mean. If only I hit that while I had ult up, man. I'm gonna back off out of sight. Come on, I just want to ult this Varus, bro. Okay. You're not gonna catch me, just let me ult Varus! Oh my god, he's healthy again now because of the vamps up there, man. <laughs> Uh, frustrating. Nice, I managed to hit that Static Shiv on Varus, and I was very tactically actually targeting the exact minion, or, you know, bypassing the like, ignoring the minions that I would thought would not make my Static Shiv bounce on Varus there. We don't know where Kane is, we need to be very careful here still. I'm gonna ult him while I know I have a free shot there. Doesn't kill him, but it does get him so low that he can't risk possibly staying, I hope. Then we also try and go for another cancel. Okay. It's basing in a smart spot. Okay. No kill for us, but he is forced out of lane. Which hopefully is going to get us both a Drake and also a turret. Awesome. No shot, the enemies could contest that. Alright, do I want to do Gil for us here? Or do I want to do Infinity Edge? I think I'll probably do Gil for us. <laughs> and Gil for us every game, haven't we? No, there was one game I did Infinity Edge. Really got, got to show it off before we ended, I think. But. Yeah, I just feel like if you're gonna try and 1v9, having Gil for us to have more play possibilities is always good. In that sense, it's going to be sad to see Gilfrost removed, but I think it's probably the best for game health. I 
Okay, not bad. I can't really risk pushing though. At least Kane has no ult now. Hmm. Jesus. Thought I killed Kane here, but we can try. I got him. Huge shot down there. Go for it, pussy. I got lethal tempo, so I'm really confident that if he was to try anything there, I would start auto-attacking him early. Probably dodge the pike cook. It's more likely to hit uh, dodge the pike cook in that situation than hit it, in my opinion. As long as you're using random movements. And then the most likely outcome is he would just die. Thanks to my lethal tempo range, making sure that he's always in my range there. If he goes for the hook. Okay, I'm really close to go for us. I got his mobis. Hard to even hit W on him. I shouldn't bother trying. Come on. Okay, nice. I am so close to Gale Force, man. Even just the spink would get me out if I can loss at that, but this is also a hell of a risk. <laughs> okay, I could base for it now. I will try to. I'm actually in a pretty shitty spot. If I was to happen to have to randomly dodge a Vexalt or a Pycock or something, then I'm stuck near a structure that's gonna slightly obstruct my movement. I'd also go for wolves, but at that point, Wukong might feel a little bit trolled. I would I would like to go for wolves here though, because I don't feel entirely comfortable overextending this hard for farm. Uh, okay, it looks like their team are just making plays in other lanes when you look at who is available on the map, so this most likely means I'm safe to push here. I'll get the start and then maybe rotate straight to top. I might just ignore the wave that's coming. No, okay, the play is over. Nothing to do anymore. I think I accidentally dodged the Varus ult there. <laughs> okay, he'll escape. All good. Can I go for... No, that's already gone. I don't know if I can risk going to bot lane farm. It's unlikely Kane would pop straight to bot to kill me, but if he does, then I'm gonna percent die. 100% die, rather. I can't even farm mid either. I'm gonna go for the wolves. I might just do like vamps up turn to chain vest. This thing. So I can have really strong defenses against Kane. Some extra armor and making sure that I'm always full HP. Can't base now though, unfortunately. The streak is about to spawn. <laughs> Pick the red buff. Let's hope this works out, because I don't have anywhere to retreat to if this doesn't work out. I can't flash over the wall. Okay, nice. They're just not even contesting for some reason. Cool. Now I need to get out of here. No way this is actually... Like, where's their team? They're not contesting the Drake. They're not protecting the ADC. They're not getting mid-pro. Where are they? It's like their entire comp is suddenly AFK. Except for Varus and uh, Yorick. Yeah, we'll just try this. I don't, I've never done this before. I have done an early chain vest before. But specifically the full defensive setup of Vamp Scepter plus chain vest as components. And we'll see how it goes. 
Oh, oh, nice one, Fizz. I saw that. I think that was his hook, right? Nope, that was his hook. God damn it, that nearly bitted me. That must have been some Vex ability. Oh well, I'll go for Raptors. Maybe even... Maybe just gank Yorick? I'm not sure. Raptors is the safest call. Just want to get strong enough to 1v9. Particularly because I'm going Gale Force instead of Infinity Edge, so... It's gonna take a while for my damage to ramp up, scale up. The comp isn't that squishy. At least the Yorick isn't. Oh my god, that fizz is zero farm. What the fuck? What happened there? There's no reason to be bot side, there's no, like, uh, objective Drake coming up soon. Hello. That didn't trap him, okay. I don't know if I needed to kill first, to be honest. That'd have been a panic. But Let's hope he's actually alone here, he doesn't have flash, so... Okay, good. Nice. Don't know what he was thinking with that TP though. What? Got him. What? What did I get hit by there? I thought the cane missed his W. Wait, let me see that again. Maybe I mistook it for something else. Oh, damn it. Because I could have just flashed the cane W. Oh, it was the Vex. Okay. Yeah, I didn't notice the Vex thing. Thought it was the King W that hit me. <clears throat> yeah, what is the lobby doing, by the way? Okay, she got a turret at least, actually. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. She didn't have to keep on pushing there. Oh, but she did. Corporatize GA? I don't think so. Ooh, I'll throw my ult here, see if it does anything useful. Oh, nice. Cool. I can get the top lane. <sighs> top lane farm. Really? <laughs> okay, that trick is up in 58 seconds. Uh, actually, I can, um... Get one wave in base for Bloodthirster. Fucking Kane. Oh, he probably thinks I'm actually just walking down. I would have based there if not for him showing up. Might have to settle for GA here instead of Bloodthirster. Uh, I'm only 20 gold away, but 20 gold is a lot when the Drake is about to spawn. Do I really want to do GA third at him? I don't think so. Surely not. This gets me from 40% crit to 60% crit, so it's pretty big. A very big deal. I think I'll do J fifth item here though. Hmm, that sucks. Oh. Oh, hello. I juked that by accident. Holy crap. I was lucky. So dead. 
Ah, oh, fucking vexing me with something. Please tell me he dies at least. Oh, oh that was so unlucky. I was almost killed him. The Zillion steal, maybe? Surprisingly close. Damn, he almost actually killed Kane. Ah, this was a bit unlucky on top of badly played by my team. Obviously, the Zillion dying before the Drake did not help matters. I think with him being there and him ulting anybody, that was one fight. That's how close it was. Oh, hello. Can't chase him. Maybe we get Pike though. Nice, Zillion realized he needed self ult. Thank god. Nice one. Um, I have zero confidence in us being able to secure Baron over Kane. Kane is really good at stealing Barons. But maybe we can force a good. Like, the best thing I can hope for that sounds realistic is that we force a fight off of. Doing Baron and never mind. Well, actually, it might still work. Oh come on! Nah, that's fucking. I could have cleansed. I could have cleansed the ignite. Fuck me. Oh, it's not even guaranteed to die to that Alawi. Oh my bad. I could have actually carried that. Okay, thank God she at least died. I got the assist. And it, oh, but it would have been a thousand gold shot than if I just got it, man. Fuck me. It's a hard game. Kane is very anti ADC. This game would be infinitely easier if he just went Rost because Rost doesn't actually counter ADCs the way Blue does. Oh, damn. Damn. I guess this all started, by the way, with fucking first blood on Wukong right before I turned on the video. So unfortunate. Of course, the one guy that got first blood that way is the one guy that's going to end up warming down in this game. Potentially. Unless I have something to say about it. Oh man, he's just dead there. Hello, Kane. Like, I can't touch him, is the issue. Like, there's no way I can punish him. It's so fucking annoying, especially with this uh, Edge of Night. He has so much room to fuck up and get away scot free. And he, he can be wherever he wants to be on the map. Make any play he wants, while being impervious to being made plays upon. Whoa. Not a great ult. Uh, we need to deal with Yorick, I just noticed them. Fuck. I have to ignore that, I think. Otherwise Yorick just ends the game. Oh, my girl first got blocked by the fucking York. Gage. Jesus. Alright, she's dead. They just end the game, don't they? I'll try my best. 
I have to walk the base, it's re really all I can do here. Uh, I might die on the way there by Kane though. Okay, we lost triple inhibs. I live at least. For now. Somebody did a lot of damage to someone there. To Varus, I think. I'm flashing in here because I think it might be a good fight if Kane tries to go for me. But he doesn't even, so... I'm just out of the way, fuck. That sucks, I didn't account for Pike. Wherever he was. Yeah, I was hoping that as soon as I went on Varus, Kane would just go after me. I would cl clean up Varus and... Well, kill Varus and then clean up Kane afterwards, because I think with my stopper trick I'll play, but he played it super patiently. Waited for the Pike CC and the threat of the Pike cult, which forced me to stop watch. Tried to bit him into making a bad decision, but he didn't. I wonder if he's smurfing for that reason. It's possible. It doesn't seem particularly good, but I I think Skin is like uh, Shadow Assassin is a very skillless champion, so I wouldn't necessarily notice. The only indication I have of you smurfing aside from that is just the fact that he's fed. You don't have to be smurfing to be fed. Fuck, I think we're about to lose. Yep. Jeez, GG. Kane is not in fact smurfing. 47% win rate, that is 600 games. Not a smurf. Like I said, Blue Shadow Assassin, just the skillless champion. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.